And now, The Bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. Those are the rough scratches of the lyrics. Oh, are we using the rough scratch? Hey, everyone. It's The Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Big J. Okerson, and drum roll, please. Not necessary. Should have prepared that better. That's my fault. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, dude, that made me fart. Did you guys hear that? You hear that sexy ass? Becky heard it. You hear that sexy, sexy ass voice, farts or no? Dan Soder's back on the show. Goddamn right. He has come home. I swear to you, funny thing, we were just talking about. came out of character. I'm back to being Dan Soder. We were just talking about this before you walked in the room. I swear, when I walked in, there's a creaky part of the floor over here, so it made a noise. Then I made the noise also with my mouth, Mm -hmm. and DJ Lou, was that your mouth? And I was like, the first, the second one was, first one was the actual floor. And I was like, do you think I farted? And uh, I think it was Black Lou goes, Jay doesn't fart. Or no, is that you that said that? Like, you I don't, don't fart. Yeah, I don't fart in public, which is not true. I fart in public, but I you said, don't do it loud. I certainly wouldn't do it like in studio, really. And I certainly, now here's the thing I would fart in front of Christine. She's mm-hmm. my girlfriend. I get that. I wouldn't have farted in front of her for the longest time, but I most definitely. Wouldn't fart in front of Becky. Uh, I just said I wouldn't fart in front of Black Lou's wife, and I mm-hmm. use her as an example because put them all on the list. It's got nothing I'm to do t- with I'm wanting. In front it's of got them. nothing to do with Black Lou's life no that, I, that I wanted to want to fuck me or anything. I just don't want her to think I'm gro- like my insecurity doesn't want me to her to think I'm gross. You in don't my give world, a shit, dude, you've cracked rats all over Christine. I don't care, dude. I'll fart in front of anybody. I'll fart in front of the pro- Pope. I don't give a shit. It's the funniest thing to me as an only child. It's You're the secure, funniest, dude. I love you. It's not. No, I. I yeah, think I disagree with you. It's that big fat dick. You guys are all fucking wrong. It's the fact that Even it Becky's just... nodding her head. It's that big fat dick. You yeah, don't give a that's shit. the kind of shitty person I am walking around going, "Fuck all you guys. I have a big penis. No, nope. here's my ass. Not fucking at all. Wind. I'm not giving. I'm not, not accusing you. I'm not accusing you of that at all. Stop being so defensive. I'm not being defensive. I'm saying internally, you can't help. I think Your body is. knows you have a big dick, and it makes you just walk with a, a different confidence. Here's the weird thing: is I, with your penis fascination about me, you have you it's said, not fascination. You said five and a half. It's inches. blinding envy. My dick is seven and a half inches. Oh. There you go. Did you oh, want? see Christine's eyebrows go up. I mean, really? Did you see your eyebrows grow up? <laughs> it's what? It, That's per. Listen, it's great. Women it's will tell huge. you it's true. Kurt Metzger has like a ten inch dick. Some women love. No, he doesn't. But some women nine. I don't know. It's, it's, I think it's like eight something. There you go thing well, there's some women who will be like oh it was really fun i fucked a guy with a 9 10 inch 11 inch dick before i've never i've yet to meet a woman that thinks they want that in their life regularly what they're looking for in regular everyday usage is somewhere between seven and eight seven and a half you are literally on the dot of what a girl says that's the fucking dog that's gonna fit my bun for the rest of my life <laughs> that's an <laughs> odd way to say it but i mean i'm six very complimentary you're coming at me very strong for me talking about how great your dick is and it's just weird it's like and by the way not one friend i have that's got a you, big dick that i sing their praises like, wait, hold on you make it sound like i'm this super confident secure guy that's why you like to keep me in my place but it, but no but it, i'm saying that's not yeah it's the dominant <laughs> It's that giant penis that's That's why you come around. You like to dominate the room. No, I'm saying... You sit in the bright corner. I think it's like uh, guys with big dicks. I I don't have a big... I have an above average penis. It's a big dick. It doesn't make me... No, big is like... I would say eight is where big starts. No, but that's... See, even your humility is making your dick sound even better, dude. (laughs) Look at Jake. You hear Jacob? He goes, yeah. (laughs) It was just a soft, subtle... It really was. You'll catch it. If you rewind, you yeah. can hear it. You went, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh. No, but I, I mean, I'm sure there's guys with 11-inch dicks that hate themselves. That probably are annoyed by their dick? Not annoyed. No, not even that. Like, I don't think oh, they hate has, themselves in life? Just hate themselves in life. I'll life. tell you what. You like, can tell if a homeless guy's got an 11-inch dick. First of all... He's got a place to stay a couple nights. Yeah. Uh, and true. two, he knows he'll figure it out. Yeah, he'll figure it out. I mean, I don't know. Maybe that confidence All kicks sleeping in. Maybe in the cold? Maybe that confidence kicks in at eight. But the thing I'm so def- self-defensive about, it's like, oh, you're so secure with yourself to fart. It's like, no, I'm just, I-, I think I'm an only child that found farts to be the funniest thing possible. So I just do them. And I have a girlfriend. But you know girls. I have a, but I have a girlfriend. So I'm not trying to fuck Christine or Becky. But even if so it's my point saying, I, even, I have nothing to do with wanting to fuck. Uh, uh, Becky, I, I just want her uh, on the core level. I want her to find me fuckable, but I'm not. 
confident enough to even worry about that I, more I, than I want her to at least go. It's like, yeah, Jay's like a together guy who is not like gross. I don't want her to think I'm not gross. Yeah. Well, maybe my farts are just all air. I don't have gross farts. <laughs> is that what you tell yourself? I don't know. I think that How when I try it? to fart next to Jay without him knowing, and then it becomes apparent that is not the truth. <laughs> yeah. By the way, I keep trying to tell her, Christine, the ones you think I'm not going to hear because they're going to be silent are going to be the horrible ones. Those are the ones you're just not making noise because it's traveling around a big log of shit in your That's, ass. Yeah, exactly. Dude, dude, the dog you're already farts, dilated. Dog farts are the smelliest farts. And my uh, humans can have dog farts. It's just the escape when you just hear the I mean there's literally it's it's a non-communication in our bed sometimes I'll just angrily like you know I'll move under the covers or whatever yeah and then I'll angrily head jerk at Christine and I'll go fucking really and she goes sorry I didn't know I didn't do anything however I'd almost rather her do that no I wouldn't I'd almost I say I'd almost rather her do that than what I feel terrible about is now because I've made a thing ever about her farts yeah she is in the bathroom probably seven of her ten times, eleven times a night she goes to the bathroom. Yeah. Is probably just a fart. Meanwhile, this one's farting all day, every day, every morning. And here's the best like, like an English bulldog, by the way. <laughs> I don't know when that happens, like the last year, like just but, farts, like our, I'm not even there. Our, our, uh... Our apartment's pretty small, yeah. So Christine's great when she w the 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 problem we find ourselves in is that if Christine gets up to go to the bathroom, yeah, it's usually while we're watch we usually watch stuff together. We watch TV together, uh, like an old couple. And when we're watching TV, <laughs> she gets up to go to the bathroom. I pause what we're watching, so then I go on there, and now I know the trick. When she turns on the shower faucet, you know, the Smart. bathtub faucet. Like, yeah, you know but I know it's because she's ripping ass or dropping a fucking hanger. But how do you want, do you want her to go in the bathroom and like be, that's crazy it's to funnier. me. You know, it's funnier. I just fart it's and really... I hear him laughing in the living room and I that's like, like, yeah. <laughs> that's funny. You hear me laughing or, or at her shitting or whatever, any of it. I'm just like, I'm just in the bathroom, I'm in the living room, I'm just going, I'm just laughing. But I think it's like, weird. Because she's going through so much to hide it. By the way, if she was hearing me the same way, I'd be so upset. Dude, my mom, I, I'm, I, as we're talking about this, I'm realizing that growing up, my mom and I farted around each other. <laughs> like, Jesus. Trish would rip ass. <laughs> and not in a funny way. She would just like do it. And I'd be like, she'd be in the kitchen. I'd be in the living room. Like, she just fucking fart. <laughs> and my mom, dude, my mom farted in front of me and my ex-girlfriend at Christmas when we went home. She goes, I got to get up and walk. I mean, we can call this ex-girlfriend and get on the phone and she'll confirm the story. My mom goes, I got to walk the dogs and gets up and just like... And she was like, my girlfriend looked at me like, what the fuck? And I was like, I think my mom doesn't even realize she's doing it now. She might not. My grandmother, when we went to visit her last time I was in Philly, me, Fenoy, and Christine went to see my grandma. Yeah. And before we were leaving, she was showing us a picture, a photograph from 1942. Uh, and as she hands the picture to Christine, it just goes, you just hear like, huh. <laughs> <laughs> and but no you, one no one acknowledged it at can't. all. No one even made a face, but man, when we got in the car, it was the first thing we talked about. And there was a nail in the tire. And it was still the first thing we talked about. <laughs> yeah. You uh I mean, dude, me and my you guys hear my grandma beef. Me and my ex <laughs> me and my ex would just be at dinner one night. This is like months later, we'd be at dinner and she'd be like, Do you remember when your mom farted to go yeah. get the dog? And like, yeah, fuck yeah, I remember that. But when you said like, Oh, you're just so I, I wonder when you said that, I got defensive because I'm like, I really am comfortable farting, but not in a way of like, I'm gross, in a way of like, eh, it's just funny, we're going to do it. And it is like, when you're, I think my mom and I just farting around each other, I was like, oh, it's not, I don't know. Because you made it sound like I'm like Buddy, secure, like I'm like, you're handsome. come catch this dick. I'm telling you, but you're a com you definitely exude confidence in your... Simplicity. I don't want any of this to sound insulting you at all. Retarded. I'm calling you that you're a basic bitch. No, what I'm saying is amazing. Fucking come across. If you're going, if you were going to meet a girl mm -hmm. for like a date for the first time, or someone you saw a I would long not fart. time ago. No, no, I know you wouldn't fart. I know that. What I'm saying, what you would do is you'd go in a Macho Man T-shirt and, yeah. and jeans. Yep. And, whatever, and I would way over. Now I would look. I would like, probably. I would. I would look as. I would look Just, as I casual. I don't know who that is. I would look as casual as you, but I would have thought it out so much. But you're like, I think it out. She should get lucky as hell to get under this fucking that's shirt and get a piece of this big old fat hog. Now I'm not saying it's conscious. That's, I'm saying that's, that's just how you conduct your life because you don't know any. You don't know any all. different. You don't know any different. You all. see the reaction you get from that fucking that hog, dude. Not at all, dude. That's not at all. I uh, my freshman year 
of college, I did not get laid at all, and I blew getting laid by farting. You forgot to tell him that you were... That you have a big dick. You know what? If you, I'm trying to imagine the kind of awful monster you would be if you had a giant dick. Oh, garbage! It's like giving it's like giving a psycho a license to kill. <laughs> you would just be like, it depends. If I had it my whole life, I don't know. If you granted me a big <laughs> you one would now, be a monster, yeah. dude. If, if you, gr- you Freaky Friday, I, I probably wake up and I'm like, oh man, that kind of sucks. I'm more con- I'm more concerned on why it happened and stuff. I think Jay's is walking around. I mean, not my maybe you and Kurt. I was, you and I was, Kurt no, but Kurt's not a good example. If I had the dick that was like the showpiece, like legit showpiece, like Will Sylvins, I'd have a lot of me too's because I would assume the best approach would be like to say I have a big dick and maybe like, you know. Pull it out. Like, not, yeah, I'd probably pull it out. Just I'd probably find out. ways to pull it Dude, out. I'd find I, reasons to pull you know it out. So funny, I would be the first one on Naked Roast Battle. Yeah. And I'd be the first, just a fucking shit. Yeah, That's for sure. I go, if you'd given me a hot chick body when I was young, I would have just treated it like a dude <laughs> would treat being a woman <laughs> member. I'd be like a stripper and fucking I mean, just using it for everything it's worth. I mean, I you know, I guess... I, but if I like, grew up with a big dick, I would just be a different person. Certainly wouldn't be funny. Wouldn't have wasted my time with that, Dan. Good job. Thank you. You know what, man? Thanks a lot, dude. You overcame a lot to be this funny. Yeah, well, it took a lot that of big old Gary. fat hog. Thank Gary. <laughs> What's that? Thank Gary. Thank you, Gary. Thank you, Trish. I want to thank a couple of the boyfriends. Definitely. Yeah, want to I shout mean, out. could you imagine if your childhood was just fucking ideal and oh. you had a big old fat dick? There's no way you'd be funny. <laughs> no. You'd be a manager at those Caminos. Oh, my. Uh, fuck you. I'd be working in Denver at some advertising firm. Oh, yeah. Just you're smashing right. beers and going be to Nuggets Mafie. games. I'd be even fee. I'd be, be the real, real life. I'd be, Dudley, I'd be real life Dudley Mafee. Duds. Duds. Oh, man. Dude, Dad, was Dudley for real. Dad, I, I uh, was shit. We off. never harp on that more that your name's Dudley on TV. What <laughs> yeah. a shitty name. Uh, let me tell you when uh, you're, you're the di- second Dudley on television, when, and the first one was a black child. When you read that in the script, you know, they like send you the script and you're reading. And Coppola was like, heads up, you get it first name this episode. And th- it did. They waited until season three. And I, and I pitched Bryce. Bryce is good. Because I was like, that's a, I, if I had a dad. It's an asshole name. That, sure. If I had a dad, my name would be Bryce or Chad. And you would hate socks. Yeah. Oh, my God, dude. I would hate shirts. Why would you live in that kind of constraint? How I, dude, let's go to the beach. What are you doing? What are you, a Japanese fucking geisha? Dude, I you fucking, tie my feet up? No, I fucking man. crush that meeting, bro. <laughs> dad, I love you. You watching the Niners game? Dad, I love you. Dude, if, fucking, if we had good Garys, if you had a big dick and a good Gary. <laughs> oh. A big <laughs> Dude, the way you just looked up was so fucking like dream. Like, I'd, be, I'd probably be in the NFL. You think so? A quarterback? I'd be, in the NFL. I'd be a quarterback in the NFL. <laughs> there was Shane was on this episode. He's on tomorrow. He's flicking it. He's like, Dude, that's that kind of confidence. That that would have that confidence would have just been. Dude, if we're all go around the room and do you like your ideal self, like what would you change? Like to make yourself a shittier version. You know what I mean? So like a good relationship with your father. I think if I like, if my mom and dad would have stayed married and both been very successful, I'd just be like a piece of shit. Yeah, probably. Or you know, like happy with a family, living life. Is that what it is, though? <laughs> is oh that? yeah, but no, but, no, but, you, but you'll be happy with like, a family. But someone you know, in the ladder normal. of somebody in the you like could have Jacob. all those things. Wait, you could have all those things, but somewhere in the ladder of your daily life, there's people who hate you. Yeah, Jacob, you're six foot one. Oh. Six. <laughs> You're six foot two, packing a fucking eight and a half. <laughs> you got a, you got long hair. Check. Make it an even nine. Make it an even nine. Make it something people talk I'm about. In nine, the gym nine. locker. I just text, text completely. No towel. Just I'm checking my my phone. Yeah. You let everybody the that, gym That suit. kind of dick. Yeah. Yeah, you let the, you let the guys. See? You, you see t- already? You see already how you're already... As the- I wrap a towel around me and pull my... Uh, my underwear down like panties That's exactly under how I would dress. handle it. Yeah. yeah. I don't look at, at myself uh, naked. No. Like, oh, I don't look at myself. No. Dude, no. I just had to put on underwear I bought at a Dwayne Reed in a bathroom stall here and my butt cheek touched the fucking side oh, of You got the, it. But Whatever dude, it is, you got it. Yeah, dude, Dan, I'm, if you're hepatitis the, some letter. <laughs> yeah, I think it's I think they made a new one E. <laughs> <laughs> hepatitis E. Yeah. If you're at a gym, look at look New York Sports Club, you'll you'll undress completely in front of everyone? No. I go to a stall. But that's because he's. Uh, it's his. Oh, yeah, look at that thing, man. That's crazy. For sure. <laughs> what were you saying, Jay? That's because why? I forgot. Oh, <laughs> look at that Gonzo Dude, that, nose. That, look that, at that thing. The two guys butt fucking. Uh, there's two guys. <laughs> that's the. That's, oh, look at that guy. Uh, is that Charlie Day from Always? Although Sunday? I bet I tell you what I bet if 
and I don't know why I believe this to be true. I don't know if there's any science on this. I believe if a dick was up my butt, my mm-hmm. dick would never like. Uh, I think all the fear would like rush the blood forward, and my dick would be massive for some reason. But I'm not prepared to find out. If what? Oh, if you. If you got fucked in the butt, I don't know why I feel like <laughs> the trauma to the area brings a lot of blood down. Like a tsunami? You know I mean? Like, yeah, you, like yeah, your yeah. boner's the tsunami and the butt fucking's the earthquake? Yes, See, exactly. Like, you just getting hammered. The, plate, the platelets between yeah. my, uh, in my gooch, in my gooch area. <laughs> the I hate other. to talk tectonics to you guys. No, I love but it. But the, uh, I think if, I think if Gary stays in your life, you're a scientist. You're a quarterback for a long time and then you're a scientist. It's a fat dick. It's huge dick. It's, it's a just, fat dick scientist. Just a f- Hey guys, uh, catch this. Goodbye, cancer. And then plop, oh, and then just the fucking and, meat on the table. And I'm having sex with all my lab aids. Oh yeah, they're gonna be so hot. All right, Jacob. So you, lab coats, lab, bras. It's just gonna be, it's just gonna be sweaty skin smacking it's gonna be together. An 80s movie in there, but we're gonna f- get so much science done. Six foot two. And I didn't do any shit growing up, so I don't know. Like, okay, yeah, so have you, that. Yeah, you got relaxed parents. Two. Your parents are relaxed. Oh they my don't. God. <laughs> that's like that's six foot one for me. Also, yeah, yeah that's they're important. super relaxed. They let you be your own. They they you let don't you have live to go in the... into your imaginary playland under the ocean. Yeah, yeah you don't have to go talk to the sharks. Uh, you have a bedroom above the garage, a la Mike Seaver in Growing Pains. Also, Arthur Fonzarelli, another yep. cool Jew. Another yeah. cool Jew. You, you're Fonz in it. What do you think you're doing? What do you think your job is? A job. Yeah, what do you think? You think you're living in Florida? You think you're selling shells on the shore? No, I think I'm something artistic, but... Douchey artistic. You think you'd be autistic? Why? Because your dick has all your brains? You think you could count a lot, or do you make clay sculptures? God damn, man, I don't know. I mean, that's uh, you're throwing a lot at me. Can Six you, foot you one. You can definitely go deeper in the I, ocean with I that big, you, dense dick. Yeah, could I give you... You could dive at a rapid rate. It's like an anchor. You're going to need a fucking... Like you're going to need a motor to get you back to the surface. <laughs> yeah. Let's picture him like a hot Jacques Cousteau. Yeah. Oh, totally. <laughs> yeah. Can I do my... Can I do my... Bizar- Jac- Jacob Cousteau? Jacob... Can I do my... Uh, <laughs> can I do my Bizarro Jacob voice? Hey, what's up, everybody? Oh, oh, yeah. deep voice. Yeah, you guys want to dive? No, this is Jacob. He goes, you guys, uh, you see the uh, the ocean today? Gorgeous. Hi, Jake. How are you? Yeah, you guys know Joey Logano. He's a fan of mine. Yeah, Joey and I were uh, <laughs> crazy story. We're in Morocco. <laughs> at, a, at a race, crushing ass. Um, teammates. I'm I'm sandwiched between uh, Miss Korea, Miss South Korea, and of course, you know, good qualification by the way. They don't fuck the North Korea. <laughs> no, come on, man. Uh, Brendan on the phone says that uh, having a big dick isn't all it's cracked up to be. I mean, you know, I'm just going to assume this is a joke phone call. I'll take it, <laughs> Brendan. What could that possibly mean? <laughs> <laughs> Crackle, crackle, guys. Crackle, crackle, dude. What happened? You have to put your dick down? What took you so long? Get to the phone. Yeah. No, I've been listening since episode one. This is the first time I finally got through. So I just wanted to say thank you guys for taking Uh-oh. You call. did it, dude. Absolutely, man. Yeah. Thanks for listening. Yeah. And you have a huge, huge dick, huh? Well, I wouldn't say huge, huge, but nine, I'm nine and a half. Oh. <laughs> Thick? So, Thick? I mean, that's, that, that's that, the reason why I'm saying that is it's not it's all it's cracked up to be is uh, <coughs> I had um, two or three chances to actually lose my virginity, and then when those women saw it, those girls at the time, I was like, you know, 15, 16 years old, they wanted nothing to do with it. Oh, dude, but you know what? Not, Sorry, man. I'm going to go. Either. Hang on. I'm going to go write a sad poem about the time girls thought your dick was too big. <laughs> oh, you didn't get pussy because your dick was too big? Imagine just the possibility of the exact opposite situation. <laughs> Jay is that a... person you feel bad for. No, that's never happened. No girl's ever said I'm not fucking you with a dick. Though. Jay, it's never happened. Thank God. But you, Thank God. All your reactions are like. Uh, I also definitely underplay my dick. My dick is. Uh, it's uh, it's, it's fine, pinpoint right? on average. It's fine. Five and a half? Christine would describe it as fine. I would just, I love your dick. She loves your dick. You know what? It's weird. It's like you're like a. Blue, you, know, you got that clean, I hope. <laughs> I. Uh, yeah, I love your dick. Thanks, she, uh, bro. Uh, I think your dick's great. <laughs> you're like, um, it's it's funny because it's like you're. I, I want to say not European, but it sounds like you're like being like from a foreign country talking about America. You're like, you're American. You got everything. If you're an American, and he's like, I got a nine and a half. You know, it kind of sucks living in America. You're like, no, it doesn't. It's great. <laughs> it's the greatest country in the world. I can't get in if I could. Oh, to be raised in America. 
she said I could. She said your dick was too big, and then so she's like, I'm just gonna hug it. Yeah, ow, <laughs> owie. Jay's Jay's dreamt about a girl seeing his dick and going mm, phantom pain. Now, but you've also, Brendan, more than that though, you've gotten pussy simply by kind of like getting the word out there that your dick's that big. I bet you fucked girl like friends of girls you fucked before. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> but also in my brain, I was like, "Wait, well, yeah, what?" Brendan, I don't know. I feel like, like you called the challenge, man. I feel like you're right on my side. Uh, Having a big dick's pretty awesome now that you think about it, isn't it? <laughs> you turned hit Brendan's day <laughs> Yeah, he's like, you know what? It is pretty great. He goes, man, I had some bruising on my helmet, but after talking to you, I feel like I can skip home. You know, I'm going to have to eat these wings pretty soon. I'll tell you what, the wings guys look serious as shit. He's got a badass tattoo, though. Look at that, uh, the what? flag tattoo. I I'm so bummed I don't have that tattoo. What? Uh, should we take our break and come back and watch you eat wings? It's a little early for break. Uh, you don't want to rap dick talk? We could, yeah, we could, uh, yeah, no, we could wrap it. I know. Brendan, Brendan, thank you. I appreciate you taking time away from polishing your huge penis. Do you remember the, the woman that called, uh, it was one of our first episodes, and she uh, <coughs> she said that she, she talked about her a boyfriend who had an 11 inch dick. Mm hmm. And uh, she loved it, and it, it was one of the happiest <laughs> memories of her good. life. It was good. Yeah, this woman. And then I remember her being kind of embarrassed to say that her husband only had like a 10 inch dick. Yeah. 11 inches of just Jesus. big ass balls and a I big I never dick. forgot that. Big, big, big <laughs> ass big dick. There's like nothing. Naked. Big, long cock, everything. <laughs> <laughs> There's just nothing funnier than just the love of a dick from a true size queen. Just like, oh, just fucking good. God, I just love but a big old cock. The slight embarrassment she had over her husband, about her husband not being, yeah, if you're like her, being only over, t just over 10. Yeah. You're I'd be like, ah! <laughs> oh, it makes me upset every time I hear it. It does? Every time. Is you angry? Or are you angry that you have to eat Dan and John's wings? Which are the hottest. I'm not upset about that at all. I'm upset that when Christine blows me, her nostrils hit my bush. <laughs> Listen. I'm good. Yeah, there's girl. The, I don't I'm good. Yeah. She says that's because I'm good. <laughs> Sucks my dick small. It's because you could take it down the chops. Mm -hmm. All right. Fair enough. I go. didn't know we were putting that information out there. Good. Let's get positive. <laughs> oh, yeah. Positive J. Let's bring him up. <laughs> Big J is going to be at Dead Crow Comedy Club Friday and Saturday. However, I believe those shows are sold out. I think but all four are sold out. Be on standby, though. Go on standby at Dead Crow Comedy Club. After that, he's going to be at Uncle Vinny's. Oh. Oh. Jay with the big dick. Uh, Uncle Vinny's Point Pleasant, New Jersey, December 20th through the 22nd. Get tickets at BigJComedy.com. Then, of course, go stream his new special on Netflix as part of The Degenerates. You should have watched it already. It's required reading. Uh, Dan Soder is going to be dragging that luggage to the funny <laughs> bone in Albany. I hope you're renting a minivan to drive up there. Uh, dude, I got to get a Yukon. You're going to squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> You need bench seating in the front. Yeah, I gotta fucking, I gotta bring an extra bag of blood until I pop, in case I pop one while I'm driving. Uh, Shane Gillis <laughs> gonna be joining him at the Funny Bone in Albany, December 13th through the 15th. That's this Thursday, tomorrow. Yeah, it's through tomorrow, Saturday. Tomorrow through Saturday. Uh, Albany, get tickets. come out to the mall. Get tickets for that and all Dan shows. DanSoder.com. Uh, always watch our videos. Always download our podcast. Always think about it. Uh, we do have uh, Dan and John. Uh, is it actually Dan and John coming in? Mm -hmm. We have Dan and John. Yeah, mm -hmm. Dan and John from Dan and John's Wings wow. is going to be coming in here so I can pay off my bet. Uh, I'm a fan of Dan. We uh, This isn't a bullshit uh, place. This place you guys go we, to. We, we, we're the ones to recommend this place. This is our place when we have uh, any kind of UFC party or people over. We do like a pizza wings thing. Mm hmm uh, most recently is when we had Shane and Vecchione, I think, came by, right? For mm -hmm. uh, oh, Vecchione spoke very English. highly of that eating night. It was a big was eating night. Nice. When, when, when nice Vecchione taste. complains about the amount of food, it yeah. usually means you did a good job. Oh, we did fantastic, yeah. And, he was but, like, but, I was, it was so good, but it was so much. Their boneless... Uh, was it the honey barbecue? Yeah. yeah. Wings are Sweet barbecue. insane how good they are. But all their wings are fantastic. I'm not a, you know, I'm not a big wings guy. So really? Fact, yeah, you know that. Come I mean, on. No, meat no, on the bone. Like, I mean, it's the bone, new for man. Him. It's very new. But I do the flats okay. I forgot that you have these odd seven-year-old eating habits with certain <laughs> things. You sat so Indian I. style and drank milk with I'm, chicken. Dude, hold on. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got defensive about my big old hog. You're getting defensive <laughs> about you. <laughs> Thank you. That's not the same thing that complaining about getting defensive about. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You get defensive about your big fat belly. We all. 
<laughs> we all have things. I we go, all have things we don't like about ourselves, I go, Jay. I go, whoa, whoa, whoa. You think I like walking around with destruction in my pants? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, listen, I'm sorry that I have a chiseled face made for print. <laughs> And that you and that you in two dimensions looks like a moon. <laughs> no, but I'm, saying, I'm saying I all of us, every comedian I know has childlike eating habits. Like Nate who doesn't like tomatoes but likes ketchup. No, he only wants condiments. Nate. Yeah. He doesn't want actual. Nate doesn't vegetables. know what meats he likes. <laughs> he just knows he wants something that he can put mustard on. Yeah. That's weird. Vecchion eats uh like he works on the docks. He just yeah. eats meats and then just steamed stuff yeah he's bizarre yeah uh, we're all bizarre but he's always got fresh crab <laughs> but i'll tell you this he knows where those lots are he's always got fresh crab got so dan oysters. and john from dan and john's wing is going to come in after our first break which we'll take right now this oh i gotta get my butthole ready for these wings is oh, we're it, going with the hot hot is gonna be a problem and their wings are delicious but the hot is going to be do you handle hot, hot well let's talk about this no. when we get back. i'm i don't um, I got a pair of undies I just bought downstairs. Thank God. I don't think I'm going to fuck. I don't think it's going to make me shit my pants. What if I squeeze you at the end of the show? Well, I wouldn't have it. I'll be holding it really hard. You know why? I don't fart in front of chicks. Cool. My name's Dan. I rip ass. (laughs) (laughs) Rip them. Rip them, brother. (laughs) Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We're dead. <laughs> Everybody hold your breath. <gasps> Guys, if you're not wearing Mack Weldon underwear, you've been had. Stop buying underwear that doesn't fit right and doesn't feel right. It's time for underwear that is right. Ah, just, just a delicious swallow. <laughs> because Mack Weldon underwear doesn't merely imply comfort, it is comfort. Normal we're feeling sweaty, rolling waistbands, chafing, or riding up. They combine smart materials with smart designs, like Pima Cotton for maximum comfort, a ventilation panel. They even use real silver woven into the fabric for its natural antimicrobial... Oh, I got so close. Antimicrobial. Jay, how do you say it? Uh, what's... Antimicrobial? Antimic- antimicrobial. Antimicrobial. We got it. And ther- thermoregulating properties. Wow. Mm. Thermoregulating. Thermoregulating. <laughs> yeah, that's what it actually is. That was yeah. trash. Well, you're trash. That kills odors, plus keeps you cool and comfortable all day. Hundreds of thousands of guys are wearing Mack Welding, so go get a pair. And in fact, they're going to pay for your first pair. If you go Buddy, buy I got them. Buy, you got them? I did get them. You, they got delivered? Love them. Yeah. You love them. I got socks. What? I got underwear. What? Yeah, socks are great. The no-show socks are the most no showiest of no-show socks I've ever worn. Well, then there you go. Get Mack Weldon underwear before the holidays. Save 25% with the promo code BONFIRE, but only until December 21st, so hurry up. Get 25% off at MacWeldon.com. Oh, it's 20% off. I'm an idiot. 20%. I'm sorry, guys. I lied to you. No, I guess our trust is just out the window. MacWeldon.com, promo code BONFIRE. MacWeldon.com, promo code BONFIRE. I'll be a better host next time. Not lie. I lied to these people, Jay. I feel terrible. Uh, oh, fucking idiot. 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 And now, back to the bonfire with Big Jay Okerson and Dan Soder. This is what you want. Dan, so I like that you're making the joke about bouncing your big dick off the table, but you're actually doing it. I'm not doing it. It's not even coming close. Oh, and he's going to get defensive about it. Man, you are... Now you're about it. Now you're defensive about it. You need to get back into therapy. I'm doing great. Good. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bonfire. Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big Jay Okerson. And we love each other. We do. And Jay has brought in some wings that he loves. And I've just had some, and they're fucking unbelievable. Please welcome to the show from Dan and John's Wings, Dan and John. Yeah. Fellas, what is up? Thanks for coming in. Uh, I feel like I'm meeting celebrities. Because you guys order from this place. You <laughs> order from this place very much. And I think that Dan and John both came in. It's pretty awesome. Man, I can't wait to get the guy from the Halal card on 54th in here. Oh, yeah. yeah. If you've been a little you, more famous than us for a long time. Oh, dude, I'm, uh, we've been working up to him. No offense. You guys are <laughs> if you, like right below him. But you, for me, it's the guy on 54th and 6th. <laughs> if you brought in Ronald McDonald or any clown, really, Christine would start jilling off in a corner. So, <laughs> Anybody do it. If you bring a star with a smiley face on it and call him Carl's Jr. Guys, if you were to eye us up on the street and see the confidence that either of us exudes who would you say has the big uh seven and a half inch dick and who is just sporting a regular old whatever dick 
Uh, I'd probably vote for this cowboy fan over here, actually. Oh, <laughs> he went right, <laughs> How the dare black you guy. Insult- Smartest bet in the room, how, by the how way. How dare you insult a black guy and say he only has a seven and a half? <laughs> Lou, Lou gets sad. Lou goes, man, fuck you. He goes, it must be cold in Buffalo. Because... Yeah. <laughs> oh. um, Dan and John's Wings, located at 153 First Avenue in the East Village in New York City. You can go to danandjohn.com for the full menu. You guys have some fucking good wings. Brought him in from uh, from Buffalo. That's why you guys are from me. Buffalo. Are you guys Bills fans? Yeah, yeah, unfortunately, we are. Are you guys in the Bills Mafia? Uh, well, we can't talk about that. We're, we're yeah, a little older yeah. than those guys, but yeah, we're we're. I think we're inducted. I always i i, I find out of all the fans Cle- of the NFL, Cleveland Browns and Buffalo Bills to be the ones that I always catch myself being like, "Come on, just give them a fucking season, man." Right. One, just one. I'm a Niners fan, so we're oh, like so the, the struggle. Is yeah, result. we're bizarro. We're bizarro worlds. We were winning four yeah. in my in my childhood. <laughs> we cried four years. Ago. Yeah, we. I was just like every year as a Niners fan growing up. I'm like, who are we gonna play in the NFC Championship game? That wasn't. Even fair. I would say I didn't feel bad as an Eagles fan, but um, they do. They got to get one. They yeah. got to get one in. Yeah, yeah the Buffalo. Because Buffalo. Philly now has has the one. It's like all right. So all those years of it. just cha- NFC championships. And yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah, yeah. The Philly. Uh, I think Philly was an easy team to root for last year because they were yeah. like, you're like, come on, give them a fucking title. And I feel that way with the Bills. Yeah, man. and you guys sometimes start hot, and you're like, you guys are like the Expos. <laughs> Remember they used to start hot all the time, and you're like, yeah, yeah here we go. Year. Montreal is going to get a fucking ring, and then uh, midway through they just collapse. The Eagles always take some player off your hands, also that ends up sucking balls when he comes to the Eagles. Well, didn't McCoy, we took McCoy? Yeah, we yeah. Took McCoy. yeah you guys took Sean fantastic. McCoy. Right, yeah. best we got Ron Darby, whose uh, <laughs> knee hasn't touched the field. And <laughs> Ron Darby also sounds like your dad's rival in high school. It sounds like a local car dealership. Ron guy. Darby, Ron Darby, Ron, Ron Darby, Darby Dodge, Ron Darby Nissan. We're going to put you in an Altima today. Is your first location? <laughs> I know you said in New York. Is that the first location? Did you or did you open up in Buffalo? No, we actually moved here from Buffalo separately about ten years ago, and we just couldn't find good chicken wings in New York City, so we decided to try our hand at fixing that problem. You were friends back in Buffalo, yeah. Also, oh, yeah. that's so cool. What did college. you guys? Did you, what did you move down here for? For college? Uh, after school, he he moved down, and I moved down to just do separate things. I was doing restaurants, he was doing business, and we kind of collaborated and said, "Let's make a wing company." Yeah, fuck yeah, yeah. You guys have some very hot wings. Yeah. yeah, well, that's kind of, I guess, So the, that's the what brings us all here. All right, we hear is, Jay has to pay the piper. So as Bills fans, you realize that sometimes, you know, you work with people that are fans of other teams, and sometimes those are rival teams. Black Lou, <laughs> uh, the man that you assigned, you know, the confidence of, um, I apologize for everyone, Lou, for saying this is seven and a half penis, my measly <laughs> seven and a half inch penis. Uh, <laughs> yeah, how did you insult, sir? Black Lou bet. Big J, that the Cowboys, it was the Cowboys Eagles, loser has to eat your guys' hot wings. Yeah. So, what wings does Jay have? Insane wings. Okay. Which is uh, not our very hottest, but it's, it, this is like, it's meant to hurt you. It's meant to hurt. So, you guys yeah. make wings with the intention of hurting people. Well, people yeah. like a challenge. People who want to get hurt. Right. Yeah. Are there a lot of people in there? Is yeah. it kind of like the yeah. S&M of food? A little it, bit. Would they like it stomp is. on my yeah. balls? Right. A little bit, yeah. Still Becky fingers herself with this sauce. She's so like, I'm fine. Hold on. Hot sauce. She goes, you know what? It's weird. It's when the wind hits it. So <laughs> that's when it hurts. It's the only time she feels alive, man. <laughs> then I give her a fucking bag. Yeah, give her a bag of ice to ice up the uh, labes for a while. Yeah, oh man, yeah. get those things back down the rational oh, size. God. She calls it shedding skin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's time to do my winter purge. Just, yeah. <laughs> so what really are, gets up in there? What are your hottest wings possible? We have something called. Uh, the sun's kiss. The sun's kiss. Real, Hell yeah. real gold flakes. On yeah, that you have to one. sign oh, a man. legal waiver for that. <laughs> They're really the gold yeah. You have to sign a waiver. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, a, a respectable wing place will have a wing you have to sign a waiver for. Sirius XM wouldn't let me sign a waiver to uh, do come. What if you would be like to get behind me? What happens? Have you seen people drop? Yeah. They don't know, man. They walk away. You sign yeah. the waiver. It's not their problem yeah, now. Yeah. He goes, I'm going right. to shut this door. <laughs> I'm going to open it back up in 15 minutes. <laughs> 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 that thing is. Would you like to play a game? Yeah. <laughs> um, hey, can I get your guys' sun kiss? <laughs> kiss of the sun? It's like, now you're entering a world that you have no clue. Do you That's know the... Uh, like the... What, what's Scoville the level? Yeah. He does. Yeah. Well, the ones you're about to eat are... 
Six hundred thousand Scoville units. <laughs> Scoville. That made Jacob cry. Dude, you're six hundred thousand Rory Scovilles. Is that all? <laughs> it's not that bad. You know, six hundred thousand. You'll you'll survive. You'll survive six hundred thousand. Oh, here's the chart. This is it's the got chili. ghost pepper. There you go. Six and six hundred thousand is. Yeah, probably yeah, high up on the list. Bajolokia. No? Nice. So you, what's the highest one that you guys have available? The Sunkist goes up to a, what? We have a two million. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That's the sun kiss. That yeah, and that uh, it's made with Carolina Reaper peppers. Oh yeah, dude, that video of those two hot girls that eat it. Nothing it's one of the me... funniest videos of all. You guys have seen that, right? Where yeah, the two yeah, hot girls me... eat it and they're like, "We're doing it," and then they're yeah. throwing up nah. and crying. My favorite. I like when black <laughs> guys. Amazing. I like when black guys eat hot peppers. They're my favorite. They just have the best reactions, best <laughs> word choices. <laughs> yeah. Just someone here to say all oh, hells no while their nose is running. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. <laughs> uh, young white girls and old black dudes eating peppers. That's the best. Yeah. A new podcast. Young white girls, they start crying and then start rubbing their eyes. Like, don't touch your eyes with it. <laughs> no, I don't want this to happen. Um, so Jay's having a, a hot, a very hot wing, but in the, in, Jay, the, in the scheme of things. I did bring rubber gloves for you, too. Should I do that? Yeah, I think so. Okay. <laughs> you, you, you don't want to Jay, go number one afterwards, that's for sure. Jay, can I ask you oh, to put... I'm very worried about that, grabbing my wine. Jay, can you please put the rubber gloves under your fingerless gloves? <laughs> yes, Dan, I will do that. Yes. Like a very sterile <laughs> hobo sort of look. Yeah, yeah, it's a sterile rock and roll way. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. I, oh, the only I mean, reason I can't do that, actually? Oh, yeah, I guess I can. Yeah. I mean, I think I've... I'll I've throw them out. I definitely st- have told this story. Uh, speaking of, you know, I have, he loves Dan and John Wings. I like halal. Uh, I got the halal the first two weeks I was living in the city. Yeah. And my friend says we got stoned and we went and got it. And I put the red sauce all over. Yeah. In it, you know, super that's, fucking that's, spicy. Yeah, that's no joke. They don't fuck around. So I ate it and I didn't wash my hands and I Ooh, went to piss. Shit. That's the worst. And I touched my dick and I sat back down to play Xbox and I, I did like a, like a, oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> and then I had to go wash my fucking dick sure. in the sink yep. because, yeah, yeah dude. Hell yeah. You're going to eat those wings. We got the picture. <laughs> <laughs> We're good for the picture. Take them off. Let's do it. Uh, are you ready to eat them, Jay? I mean, you got to be nervous for multiple reasons, right? You got SDR tonight. I feel good about this. Do you think you're going to... Do you... I poop fast with wings. That's why I can rarely eat the cellar wings. Um, Really? How half fast did I hit you? I mean, when I shit my pants at Bobby Kelly's house, it was because I ate wings, was sick, and I was drinking beers. So it was the trifecta. <laughs> You got some Tums? What do you got there? The Soothings? Are those the Milk, Soothe? There's Tums. Should we have a... Uh, yeah, fuck the callers, Black Lou. You're right. Whoa. Man, Lou gets aggressive when there's chicken in the room. Well, say he has a seven, <laughs> say, say he has a seven and a half dick again. Say he has a seven and a half inch dick. I'm not the one who said it, Lou. I'm sure your dick's bigger than seven and a half inch. You didn't step up for him, dude. You didn't <clears> step up for him. <clears throat> All right. Are yes. you guys ready to go? Christine, yes. have, your thoughts? What's the funniest reaction that you guys have seen to someone eating something out of their spice level? Usually cry. Uh, how many times? Uh, how many times do people cry a week? Oh, there's got to be a. I think there was now. an instant vomit. Yeah, one guy instantly went to the bathroom and vomited. Yeah, with <laughs> yeah that noise. Are you doing it? Mm-hmm. You're just uh, getting just in. Going it. right in. Are you good with hot? Hey, hey, what's up? This is Bonfire, and this is Jay loses a bat. Nah, that's hot. Now he eats. <laughs> is it? Oh, how many do you have to eat, Lou? Five, I think. Five. Five, dude. By, by the way, it it's so funny that Lou is filming our Insta story, eating wings and the kind of talking shit. He's five. <laughs> oh man, how about how you Eagles doing? That's up? one, right? You still mm-hmm. love that team after they did this to you? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh come on, Jack. I root for the uniform. <laughs> Black Lou, don't give him something to cling to. You got to to break him. You can't yeah, fucking. Do you want me to dab your face? Dude, I'll come over there and do that. That's, gotta be that makes one That's right brothers. That loaded. Dude, I love you. I will fucking dab your face, and I hate hot wings. Oh, I love that Jay's a two-boner guy, because I'm a two-boner guy. It, uh, the flats. Yeah, yeah. Always the flats. I'm a drumstick fellow. He's yeah, a drumstick. You're on the right side Dude, of the table. Way to pick it. Whoa. Oh, I right? should probably ranch up, huh? Ranch up like a motherfucker. How are you not ranching at the know. top? Yeah. I don't know why. Dude, I ranch, up. I ranch up every morning, and I don't even know what I'm going to eat. Oh, this one's got a lot of shit on Nobody said no sauce. Yeah, yeah. they how you, that's only one, too. He's only got one. <laughs> no, no. What are you People doing about that after two? Really? Yeah. They're For hot. Sure. Yeah, they're hot. Yeah, Jake, yeah. let's get some white on this. He took the one that was loaded with sauce, too. Let's I go saw full it. throttle. Oh, yeah, Jay. Get in there. Get at the crown molding. Oh, get all in there. I built everything. Dude. Can we get the Eagles, Jay? 
<laughs> fly. You should have learned. You should have learned. Fly birds fly. The Rocky music by yeah. about Wing Four. Yeah. Can we hit? Can you hit Jay with some fucking? Come on, Jay. I gotta be his Mickey. You can do this. Do it. <laughs> Don't do it for me. Do it for the Eagles. Yeah, my gums are numb. No, my yeah, gums. No, oh, no. She's got, dude, Christine has Adrian face. <laughs> because Great. you can't win, Rob. Thank you, Jay. This guy will kill you to death inside no. of three rounds. Jay, Christine, for the first time in my life, I'm afraid, okay? Yeah. <laughs> what are you at? You had two? I can't believe it was only two. two. Yeah. Dude, get milk. Hey, There's milk drink, right milk. There. milk. There. drink milk. Drink milk. Dan Soder's prescription. Milk and chicken? Mm-hmm. Shut up. It's delicious. How you doing? How's That's that gross? Break? Well, dude. There's some celery here, too. Maybe you. Oh, yeah. celery. I, mean, I just like celery. <laughs> Who's not going to have a little celery and ranch? With so, how did, can I get a halftime report with you? I'm a Leslie Stahl. I'm gonna, not halftime. It's, it's, it's two minutes left in the second quarter. You can't win! I'm going to get saucy ones for you guys. You're saucy. Yeah. Just like you. Just like our big J. Saucy. I think he's going to do it. Hot, you saucy. Wet. You think you got faith in him, Dan? Yeah, I thought if you didn't tap out after two, I think he, I can't I think quit. he can go five. I Come can't on, quit. Dude. You got this. He Go. I forgot ranch. Oh, you got to slather it. That's not a good ranch dip. Oh, That's the only thing. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? Come on. You a got true this, buffalo dude. guy would have taken the blue is. cheese. It's so wet. Uh, you guys have a specific, you know, you're from Buffalo, and they say that buffalo wings, it's sauced the specific way, right? Sure. Yeah, the old school recipe. Wait, you use the old school, like, Yeah, we know, go with the regular them? buffalo stuff, yeah. That's kind of why Satan's tears. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he goes, they're right there. Is, uh, that's come from a volcano. There you go. Blue cheese yeah. is the dip you're supposed yeah, to use. Yeah, I'm really. an idiot. Actually. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm trash. Like, I'm it's garbage. okay. We don't judge. I like ranch. We are white garbage. Uh, I do like ranch. I, I know blue cheese. <laughs> Joey Diaz also says blue cheese or go fuck your mother. Yeah. And, uh, my lips don't to, feel good. Try to fuck my mom. Yeah. I like ranch that much. Are you from Florida? <laughs> Me? Who, Dan? No, he's, he, just carry, he just carries himself right because his dick. His dick's big. Yeah. Why yeah. are you saying that? <laughs> Dude, my dick is an insulting size to Lou. To Black Lou. You want to watch uh, Dan? so easy just to impress other white guys. Seven and a half inch dick on this guy. Yeah. That's uh, fucking nice, right? I think that's pretty respectable, sure. I think respectable. This yeah. is Well, that guy's like got a, a huge fucking, dick, too. Look at his yeah, great like beard. Look at Andre. him tattooed. You think this guy's yeah, not Andre. rocking Andre. a heavy piece? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I smelled it on him, Jay. We just didn't want to do this. I'm Man, look how wet this is. Look how wet that is. Not only that, but you lifted it up and it dripped down. Yeah, that's This is four. Oh, buddy, get all that ranch. Champion oh. threw it, though. Oh, buddy. It gets worse before it gets better, too. Yeah. Oh, oh buddy. It's going to hurt a lot tomorrow. Do you think? Oh, just ripping at it. Yeah. How many? I mean, you guys have to have violently shit a ton from this business. Oh, we don't eat this shit. Well, yeah, we don't call this. <laughs> he, goes, do you know where, he goes, do you know where we get our chickens? I, no, don't I eat know. wings every day. I don't eat insane sauce every day. Yeah. Oh, man. Do you think the Burger that? King's eating Whoppers every day? <laughs> yeah. I don't think the Burger King's a real person. <laughs> there we go. This is it. This is you going to lay that on me I'm four wings in? I was trying to piss you off, get you through the last one. He's on four. There's a little bit more chicken on these last runs, but that's okay. There you go. This is it, dude. I'll, I'll, do, I'll pay my bet. Whoa, this, this isn't the hot part. That's a good part. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a good the part. tasty part. This is the enjoyable. That. This so is the cool down. Yeah. Yeah, just eat that meat, dude. You've, you've earned it. You got one more, right? Uh-huh. Are you going to go flat or drumstick? They're only flats. flats. They're all flat. They're only flats. You guys only do flats? He requested yeah. it that way. So so really? Yeah. yeah. Normally, we, 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 we don't go all, but we did for this particular case. <laughs> yeah. We've asked for that when we've gotten small orders, not for a party, and they've always hooked it up. Yeah, know? we do. We get as many as we can without screwing the next order. How did this come about? Did you call him Man. like, hey, what's up? It's, I brought uh, it up, and uh, Lewis actually contacted them through Twitter, and then they got yeah. back to us right away and said they were coming up, and we are like, it's actually Dan and John? <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, like that's celebrities, gotta, dude. That's got to be pretty awesome. Right. I, I saw this like, no is way. Is a fair payoff, Black yeah. Lou? This yeah. is it? Is this, this it, dude? Uh, that's, and that was in the bottom. Yeah, that's I love you. I'm sorry. Sauce. Why are you sorry? You don't play for the Eagles? You're such a good sport. We do... <sighs> Get up, you son of a bitch! Can we get pizza tonight? <laughs> yeah. Dude, you should get pizza. Get ice pizza. cream, too. Get ice cream. What do you want tonight, Jay? You yeah, put some dairy on top of that. <laughs> Jay, how do you feel? 
Do my whole like my lips? Yeah. Are so don't numb. touch your face. <sighs> yeah. Oh, don't wait, touch guys, your face. I did the wrong thing. I gotta put some blue cheese on that. Yeah. Get some blue cheese. It's a good thing you kept the rubber gloves on. I guess. Yeah. It's yeah. probably really good. I did that. Yeah. 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 I touch my dick a lot. Thank yeah. you for bringing. We those. have to stop him sometimes <laughs> on the show from touching his own penis <laughs> while he talks to people. He went both gloves. It's kind of like when little just... kids are in the pool and they just pulling on their peckers on the outside of their <laughs> swimsuits. Me and Christine self-diagnosed that all that dick road rash shit I thought I had. Yeah. Was because I touched my dick after I put all those like steroidal creams. On my body, to make it skin thinning. Oh, skin. Oh, shit. Well, the cortisone and the hydrocortisone is all skin thinning, so he's been putting it on his hands and then touching <laughs> oh his God. dick and just thinning just chemically out. Chemically, thought it was my penis? super dry pussy. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out it's not. No, it turns out I'm trying to eat over here, guys. Guys, you get cream on my hands. I'm jerking off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I got one speed. J and O. He goes, All right, Jesus, wait a minute to put on your sty. He goes, oh, After, yeah, I'll use what's left. He goes, I'll put it on my eye and then try to hit something else in my eye. I like to come on myself. Dude, yeah, I think your humor de- definitely well, quells the fire, but man. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, he did it. Five. Congratulations. There he is. What do you need me to do? Five more pussies? You were so tough. No. Thank you. I want somebody else. Does anybody want to try one to see nope. how hot it is? No. Nope. No one in the Lewitsky? room? No! If it makes you feel better, you win a t-shirt and a hat for that. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Jacob, really would you good. try it? Yeah. Will you try one? Jacob. Somebody's got Jacob. it. Jacob. We got the boneless one. Jacob. Jacob. Try, try right. boneless. It's a, it's a little nugget. Are those the same sauce? Yeah, same we'll sauce. Go with the traditional. Either Can I try that? Delicious. Come on, Jacob. Yeah, you do that one. Oh, here it is. Ha. <laughs> uh, huh. huh? Like a oh. ten-second draw. Oh. <laughs> that's yeah. the that's not a super saucy one from the bottom. My guy did just for the record. <laughs> <laughs> He's washing it down with barbecue wings. What, what do you think? Uh oh. He's oh. going for another. It's what? It's hot. <laughs> How bad? Is it pretty bad? Yeah. <laughs> it was so adorable. Do you want some of Jay's milk? <laughs> yeah, oh, buddy, get milk. You gonna drink dairy? I don't want it. No. <laughs> oh man! Oh, no. Why'd you make him do that? I don't know. He, he, he stepped I'm gonna four. say it's good. DJ Lou, do it's, one. Uh, very tasty though. Do a saucy right. one. I would have to eat twenty-five tums to get through that. Yeah. Oh, no, you're fine. <laughs> what do you mean, Lou? You're inside. You're like a, a fucking Olympic athlete. No way, man. Whitsky and I both have detective esophagus. <laughs> <laughs> There's, no way. There's no way we can just start fucking hawking back hot wings. Damage is just, just done. Yeah, for pure sport, we're like, okay. Yeah. You okay? <laughs> he's kind of hunched over a little bit. It's oh. Jacob sweating. Look, at, look how shiny he's getting. <laughs> drink milk. Drink milk. Drink milk. Yeah, Jacob, drink milk. No, that no, just swishes no, no, it around. No. Yeah, no. <laughs> that makes it worse. Just ride the wave. No, just ride the wave. Jacob, Jacob, drink milk, please. I can't. Give him a tongue. I don't want any. I'm good. You should feel the heat on the top of your head. Oh. Yeah. That's good. He's sweating. I like Come it. Come on. You yeah. want water? I mean, he's working. Yeah. How did he immediately sweat? Black you didn't even break a sweat. You're Jake. doing good over here. Jake, can I compliment you real Yeah. Well? That was legit. That was re- you did a really good job. You can get your go. picture on the wall at Dan and John's for that. Oh, yeah. You think I won't go? I don't know where this place is at. I In the celebrity it. frame. Yeah, dude. Celebrity frame? Every time I walk by, I was, we've walked by... Uh, even because we had another restaurant we go to up there that Kiko the oh, the sushi, sushi, place. sushi place yeah it's great well, every time we walk by dude I gotta go I wanna get more respect in this place <laughs> <laughs> well just tweet us think. so we I can want be more there. Res- oh dude we're gonna tweet all your stuff out man it's uh, Dan and John's Wings Dan and John from Dan and John's Wings again, again. yeah 135 First Avenue in the East Village danandjohn.com for the full menu you guys deliver what's your delivery radius East Village mostly Dan East and Village. John's plural um, I'm sorry Dan and John's John's plural. It's black Lou, can you give him your uh, black person hot wing state of approval? <laughs> what is he trying? Oh, these are fucking amazing. Oh, yeah. 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 First yeah. time. I've been recording time. and eating this entire time. Bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be the, all they talk it about at one of their barbecues. I'm certain of it. <laughs> can, we ch- can we check on Jacob? He does not look great. Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> look at him. He's going to be pacing soon. Oh, Jacob. He's so shiny. Yeah. Hey, Jacob, please drink milk. Jacob, if you eat one more, Christine will suck your dick. <laughs> I will. I Dan will. I can't, I can't get, no beads today. Hey, dude. <laughs> Jacob, can I, Jacob, you want me to suck your dick right now? <laughs> please give Jacob the I milk. Bet what's in my mouth will make your pee hole feel great. Oh, man. Uh, ja- oh, dude, a spicy blowjob? Yeah, that would kill me. 
<laughs> Jacob, your hand's shaking more than normal. <laughs> Did you witness a murder or did you eat a hot wing? <laughs> you, tell me, what happened? What, who was he? Yeah. Did he take your stuff? What happens when the cars collided? It's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> did you feel, time. Jacob, at what point did the heat what hit you? Heck? I mean, f- two seconds. Uh, I hit hit my mouth, and my mouth is. <laughs> Dan, so you won't hot. try one? No. It burns. It's Dan, a burn- <laughs> spicy food. <laughs> no. I, yeah, I don't want to be. He's going to beat it, though. You what can about see. just like. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I can beat it. I'll do that. All right. There's sauce on the bottom of I'll that traditional that. one right there. Yeah. Yeah. A little, little tiny. This right here? That's it. What are you doing? You testing Coke? That's it. We'll do a gummer of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's enough to. Yeah, wow. <laughs> I did a fucking drop. <laughs> You're a fucking soldier, dude. Dude, do I look yeah. like a Kardashian right now? My lips feel 100. <laughs> they're 100 pounds. Like lifeboat rafts? They're so, yeah. I did it in the middle of my tongue. I think that was a bad thing. Like Macaulay Culkin and my girl, like I got stung by 100 bees. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm a Thomas J. Brings I'm going to start yelling. Brings everybody down. I'm going I'm to start reading. He needs his ring. He needs his ring. <laughs> Can I get a sip of that milk, dog? Try some? Oh, we got another yeah. Taker. We got another taker. Oh. Becky. No, don't do just the Not finger sauce. No, that's enough. No. No. It's fucking hot. This girl was beaten in the gymnastics her entire life by a, a Russian coach in <clears> Ukraine. <throat> I don't. None of that story is true. Like Drink that. <laughs> You like wow. it? Wow! Look at that. It's no, it's delicious. It's really Flavor good. wise, you know the spice There's doesn't hit. Five more that Jay didn't eat. <laughs> just kidding. By the way, Jacob doesn't eat Afrin. He's just got to eat one of those wings. He's clearing out. Christine wants to try one. I know. I'm like, well, dip it in the ranch. Dip it in the ranch. Celery try in the one. ranch. Do just dip or your dip, yeah. dip the celery in the blue. I ate five of them, and I'm still fine. Still a little dab. Little yeah, dab will do. Dude, that. I'm telling you, man. You're just gonna dab? Oh, you poon. No solidarity in this household. <laughs> Fine, I'll try it. I'll try it. Oh, there yeah. she is. There she is. Jay. There's the girl. Oh, now who's going to step up to the plate? Now Christine's the only uh, adult here besides me. You guys oh, are dropping okay. like flies. No way. Yeah, dropping like what? Jacob's the only one who's going through an emotional fucking rebirth. <laughs> He's the healthiest one of us all. Dude, man, you need your co pilot to stay. Yeah, his it. insides are too clear and good. And you, so you can't have food. He's not used Lua. to processing uh, foods like this. Uh, you need Lou and I to fucking steer clear in case your bottom drops out. Yeah. <laughs> That's my girl. They're delicious. Good. They're really good. Wow. But they're no shit hot. Yeah. Yeah, they kind of really My God, your Armenian coldness. Serious taste, though. i got to give you credit. Hey, serious. 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 You know what it is? Serious Christine's taste. got an Armenian hairy throat. She probably isn't even feeling <laughs> it's it. It's catching it. <laughs> it's <laughs> catching it. It's like cilia. It's really hot. I was more scared of them, though. Like, I, I like spicy food, so mm-hmm. it gives that. It's like the Mamoon's burn. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that sauce, too, is pretty uh, unreal. I don't know what the... What the Scoville level on that is pretty well. Moons. The Rory Scoville level, pretty high. I heard it's John Doerr. <laughs> it's so high, it's John Doerr. <laughs> That's what it is. Uh, again, Dan and John from Dan and John's Wings. Really? 135 yeah. First Avenue Thank in East Village, so New York City. Hey, thanks for having us. Uh, Danandjohns.com for their full menu. The food's so good. So fucking good, Absolutely. man. Absolutely. Use it for you. And you guys do like big orders for parties and stuff. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yes, and one of my favorite things, you can time the orders on the site. So I've set it up for like 10 p.m. early in the day. You don't even need to think about it. I love it. Yeah, nice. so check it out, danandjohns.com. If you live in New York City, check them out. Before, We're going to take another break. Before my taste you guys are the wind beneath our wings. Thank you, Those man. Those were really good. Yeah, they're very, very oh, right good. Right on, man. Jacob's uh, saying that from under a blanket. Yeah, he's CNG's. scared. <laughs> scared of shadows now. <laughs> and now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. I'm good. I'm all good. Dude. You and Jacob are back to normal. It's the Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Series XM95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big Jay Okerson. Joining us in studio from the podcast, Tuesdays with Stories, Joe List. Hi. Yeah. Download Joe List's podcast, Tuesdays with Stories with Mark Norman on iTunes, and then go see him in Raleigh, North Carolina, this Thursday through Saturday. And then Philly, we know you're out there. We know you're listening. December 27th through December 29th. ComedianJoeList.com. Hey, buddy. Hey, guys. Uh, we were eating wings before you showed up. Yeah, it sounds like it was, I was wild. Wings. These guys were dicking around with some medium nonsense. I had to carry Jacob back in here. Yeah, it's hurt. Yeah, Jacob, Jacob's hurt. Jacob looked, man. Black Lou had it. Is it on our Instagram TV? Instagram what? It's on our Instagram live feature. Yes, Instagram live feature. You can watch Jacob eat a Go wing through it. and sweat. He went through it. Yeah, yeah we yeah. turned the lights up. Immediate sweating. And then right when we came back, right when we were coming back from commercial, he just goes, I'm finally starting to feel better. 
<laughs> you're like, <laughs> you're like, all right, here you go. You're you think that's going to be? A, you, I don't do that type of thing. You that think it's going to be a watery, yeah. uh, a watery dump? Are you going to pay for it on the end train back to Astoria? <laughs> Considering how <laughs> shitty the end train is, man, that's scary. Yeah, that is scary. <laughs> you sounded like the the bartender in Fargo. I don't do that kind of thing. <laughs> I don't set that kind of thing up. I don't set that. I'll kind be of. I'll be a okay until tomorrow. You think tomorrow, tomorrow morning? Tomorrow morning is going to pay the piper. It's going to be serious tomorrow. Morning. Your butthole? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Tomorrow morning is going to be a doozy. I, wings make me shit quick. I like a butthole burn though. It's invigorating. Lets you know you're alive. Like a York you know? peppermint patty for yeah. your asshole. Just a I do, hot ass. I do feel like there is a if you have a big hot shit. Yeah. I do feel like there is. I feel like there is a purge though, right? You know, what I mean, like an inner purge. You yeah. feel better. Yeah, it feels good, and I, I it's fun. Then you wipe, and it's the same color as the thing. It's like kind of an orangey shit. I might have a problem no but, 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 kind of but like i know a, what you mean yeah you like some wing sauce it's in your not, asshole it's not it's a little lighter and orangier yeah 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 that's blood guys what i uh what's up hi uh, yeah but i uh moving on <laughs> I, I don't know why i don't know why i gave you the fucking cat skills energy oh ah, well that's all uh, it's called, called blood gentlemen but uh what else is going on in the news folks ah coming out uh, what's up with the soup here tonight huh i uh you went to a concert last night i did i went to see Mumford and Sons. Oh, fun! I'm proud to say. Are you a fan? Uh, not really. I I know a couple of the hits. I never dove in with Mumford and Sons. I don't even know the hits. All I know is that we saw them live at Bonnaroo, 2015, and they were fantastic. Yeah. Great, great, live. great performance. Came home. It was the first band I saw at Bonnaroo that to me was going to be actually Kendrick Lamar, mm-hmm. and then. Um, uh, Mumford and Sons were the two people that I went home and immediately was like, I want to hear some of their stuff. Kendrick Lamar stuff I enjoyed a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, and I did not. Mumford and Sons, I put on the r- recorded stuff, the albums. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Could not enjoy. Not one song could I get into at all. And I mm-hmm. kind of thumbed through the whole catalog. And then they performed on SNL the other night. Their second song was fantastic. And then we went to go see him at the Garden last night. Good show. For a band, I don't know any of the songs. Yeah. Just as musically, it was like good. They're very, yeah. very talented guys. The guy, whatever his stage, I feel it's a little character-y. What? The, thing on stage. The lead singer, Marcus Mumford? Yeah. Why do you feel it's character-y? Um, he had just, an arrow through his head? <laughs> uh. <laughs> he was wearing the fan with the opera mask. It got weird. <laughs> yeah. I. I'm doing about- a character. <laughs> I said on the air the other day that someone said, uh, like, they hang out with, like, they're, like, ditchy, like, bitchy rich kids, sort mm-hmm. of. So, like, something about his weird, humble smile he does at the end of his song on SNL that I thought was, like, a cool rock star, like, you know, this is why the girls want to fuck him because of his sensitive, little, mm-hmm. nervous, like, <laughs> shyness. <laughs> and then uh, I was like, oh, I bet that's his way of, he's like, all right, let me put on my shy dimple face now so the uh, girls' pussies will get wet and He's stuff. like Puss in Boots? Last night, he announced his wife's not there. Very weird. He's in a crowbar and in, felt like, mm. that his wife wasn't at the show. I wish she could be here right now, and we could just love and embrace each other. I'm going to be all lonely in my room tonight, I is. I is, I is. I go to to sleep, I do. I, I hope do. I get me some trim to hang on me cock, it does. Oh, this next one's about a sad lion. Who wants to suck me dick? Are they from the South? No, they're from England. <laughs> <laughs> I love you answer. I'm always the asshole who answers the fucking asshole question. I go, he's I think from the South, yeah. You na- as I'm nailing the accent. Uh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's the Chris Farley. What? <laughs> what? Is that ever an English accent that was? It's trash. It's trash. Um, I that love trash. that chick. Oh, that was trash. trash. Uh, do you know the girl, the internet video, the girl scratching up her boyfriend's car and be going, like, going crazy? It was all no. over Instagram. Yeah. No, I try not to watch any of the videos yeah. Sarah loves the videos I'm always watching the news and reading a novel wow. she's reading all these YouTube black eye kicking the balls videos yeah. and I say Sarah that's gonna ruin you it's you not know? though keeps your I, finger on the pulse yeah and then I hit her and we try to film that but it won't go viral <laughs> yeah. um, no I don't I, ne- like, I never see anything. husband goes she was, crazy <laughs> she's she's laughing at a uh, fucking monkey throwing shit at the uh, children at the zoo and Joe's thumbing through Tom Clancy <laughs> He goes, can you please stop? I'm at a, at a monu- monumental moment in the story. <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys know this, but Chaucer doesn't wait for nutshot videos. <laughs> Do you guys read Patterson? 
Um, I was just going over some Lord Byron I had found in the library, and I said to myself, stop watching it. Does she, I mean, me and you are in a very different library. You're in an old one with cobwebs in it, and I'm in a fucking airport bookstore. The shit I'm reading off. <laughs> Dude, you're reading you're fucking... Closer, yeah. yeah, you're reading uh, divorced dad literature. Vodka, are you there? It's me, Chelsea. You go, the Chelsea uh, Handler, third <laughs> autobiography. <laughs> I'm doing a thing. I think someone has a bit about this. Someone might, maybe someone famous. Maybe it's Gaffigan or someone. Where I'm reading a book about the 68 election, so I'm trying to just wedge it into conversations. Yeah. Where I'm like, you ever see that video of Nixon getting on the helicopter? And people are like, what? And I'm like, yeah, you don't want to talk about Nixon right now? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody has that it's, bit. I'm doing somebody's bit. Uh, Gaffigan, it, the bit I think you're thinking of is where you, you see a movie later. No, that's different. I love that one yeah, also. Like, you guys want to talk about heat? He's, he's like, like that came I want to talk about it now. Yeah, that came out in 1996. <laughs> Someone has a bit about watching a documentary and then you try to wedge that into the conversation. I can't remember who. Dude, the worst one Maybe I I'll had, just do it. No one seems to know it, so the, I think it's mine now. The worst one I had of that is I went uh, to Am. Amsterdam this summer and hung out with Lou Witzke and my friend Mike that I grew up with uh-huh. and we went on a fucking tour uh, through the canals and then later I was stoned and he was drunk and I was trying to say shit like I knew it and he was like yeah I was on the tour with you <laughs> and I was like oh fuck I you didn't know, even realize this I was fruit doing is uh, indigenous here no I walked by I go that's the oldest church in Amsterdam and he goes yeah I was <laughs> sitting right next <laughs> to you when this. you learned that yeah. and I was like fuck Oh, God damn it. Um, well, I'll tell you at this Mumford and Sons concert. Yeah. Uh, the guys that were there. A lot of black are, people. Yeah. Nil. <laughs> no, there was uh, a black girl right behind us. There was a black girl right behind us, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, big Latina population. Mm, no. Okay. No, no Latinos. I'm whatsoever. guessing there are some wooly white people in there. Buddy, it was. And I mean wool sweaters. White. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a lot of guys. Dress shirt still tucked in mm-hmm. for this one to their dress pants. It oh, was vodka sodas galore! Vodka sodas out the, <laughs> the vodka soda line crazy. through the entire place. Yeah, oh, dude, fake. like the, like the frozen drink thing, Christine. Am I right? Remember the frozen drink ones in the middle Faux. of the corridor? That was like the longest line. It kind of wrapped around. Faux dust bowl rock. It was bad. Me and Christine got a teriyaki bowl because nobody was in that line. <laughs> That's what you do. You they all it. buy American there. Is yeah. Mumford and Sons two guys? No, it's a whole band. Oh, it's a whole thing. Five, four, five. Oh, okay, guys. so it's a whole situation. There's a lot of sons. It was a good show. A lot show. of sons. A lot of kids. <laughs> I'll so tell you what I did. There were multiple mothers, or it's cool with the whole race thing, <laughs> huh? <laughs> they, uh. <laughs> oh, wow. The people dancing and enjoying it around us I feel and I did this to Dan I talked to him outside about it yeah I feel bad about it I very accidentally through my own lack of knowing this and being super psyched about the moment Mm -hmm. and just enjoying it and making the people around me not lose their shit the way they want to yeah because I'm also a big presence there in the middle of the aisle right right and the guy and this happened with Dan we went to go see wrestling together yeah me and Dan last minute me and Christine bought tickets we went with him and Dan St. Germain and we, Jan, Dan St. Germain and I were just gonna go to Monday Night Raw and then Jay's like dude Christine and I will go and then you're like it's like your older brother being like I'm gonna come to your thing and you're like Okay, but oh, you didn't want us to come? Why no, you I wanted that? you to come. I, I wanted you, you to come. Ruin it. I, I, Christine oh, called it because she just knew that I wasn't going to be the wrestling fan I would have been with you not there. Oh, you wanted to nerd out. Yes, I see. Dude, I was going. By the way, this was my second I straight night of wrestling. I didn't make him not nerd out. Yes, yes, you did. <laughs> so I didn't make you yeah, not. No, you but didn't your make energy. You, but your energy stopped me from nerding. I out. was having a blast. Negative I had a great the time. shield. You know. Uh, you know, and obviously thoughts and prayers go out to Roman Reigns. Who the was shield cancer. got back together. I it's don't crazy. know who that is. I don't. Yeah, oh, but every wrestling fan that's listening sucks. to this goes, "Oh man, that is." Pretty crazy that that happened, and I'd be like this. Yo, that's nuts. I can, <laughs> that's I that. can only talk 1988 to 1992 wrestling, which is fun. And I can rip it because he, he really can. And Joe will come over and we'll watch old pay per views on the WWE Network. Yeah, see, that's fun. I follow all the old wrestling, but nowadays I don't know what's going on. Yeah, but I, I used like to the follow idea of the old wrestling too, and I went to enjoy myself. And you really, and I'll tell you this: we had a great time. We had fun because I make fun of the wrestling. But what you're saying exactly? I mean, are you trying to get me to go fight somebody right now? Because once this breaks, everyone in this studio might be in trouble. What I've lost is the ability. Jay, yeah. I'm just going to ask you once mm-hmm. and never again. What you going to do, <laughs> brother? <laughs> uh, well, I would say 
is I was having a great time being there, but it's all very uh, silly and fun. And what I can't capture back is the cheering for things that are so obviously like a show and uh-huh. put on fake. But are you talking about Mumford and Sons or wrestling? Wrestling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Both. Because I kind of want you to uh, move no. on to Mumford and Sons. That does sound like a good wrestling team, though. But let me just say what wrestling is. <laughs> it's Mumford and what it Sons! Is, what it is, if somebody <laughs> is slapping someone in the chest. Yeah. And on the it's third, called a chop. And on the, third, <laughs> on the third chop, uh, one guy blocks it and then chops the other guy and knocks him down on the ground and everyone yeah. stands up to cheer. Yeah. I can't pretend to really be like, oh shit, we just saw a moment. It, look, a crazy catch, be it my team or another team in a game of right. some sort. You just like, you react. You're like, that's an amazing thing. Right. The guy backflipping off the top rope to a guy out on the floor is it's, not crazy. It's for children. It's super crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not all for children. Dan but, likes tra- Dan likes acrobats and flippy guys. I don't know. Maybe get some flippy guys in there. We got to fuck. But at Mumford and Sons, same thing. These guys, you could tell these dorks, man. They wanted so <laughs> bad to bob around and sing the songs along really loud and just. Oh, I had a steady knee bop the whole time, but. One knee bop at a time, which means they don't see you even really doing like a dip down and up thing. Right, right. You're just giving like one, knee, just one knee's bopping. So yeah, you they, some shoulders it in. looks to them like I'm just running security detail the whole night on these guys, and no one around us seemed to really much enjoy the concert. <laughs> Except for, uh, we were enjoying it a lot. We were enjoying it. The guy next to me was very hand clappy. It was one of the most into it crowds I've ever seen at Madison Square Garden. Mm. I said white people really like a hoedown. Yeah. Here's where I got angry. What's that? Here's where I got angry. I'm just getting angry. I'd like to, and I bet, Joe, you're a a good music guy. I am. You know a lot about music. You two in my life are the two, I would say, smartest people about music history out of everyone I know. I would just say smartest people. I'm reading a book about the 68 election, bro. (laughs) I mean, that's ridiculous. you might, be the, you might be the smartest person I know ever yeah. now. Joe? <laughs> sure. Joe? Yeah. Let me get there naturally. Run, Bobby, run. <laughs> okay? Yeah, I hate to ruin your book. He gets shot in the head. Oh, fuck. Um, <laughs> here's what I didn't like. See, I did it. And I think when we come back from break, I bet people can call in actually and chime in on this if they know a live version of a song. When someone that's not. Like Mumford and Sons, nothing about them is that badass. No. Even their most badass song, it's like, no, your vibe is actually banjo-y country love music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's holding hands with your girl music. Yes, which is great for that. Yeah. When you try to put in an emotional curse word crammed in. Now, the most oh, famous yeah. to me, the most famous to me is... Um, Oh. I always do Counting Crows. Yeah. Counting Crows. Round doing... fucking here. No, it's not that. It's that song. <laughs> it's that song. You know what I'm talking about, Lou? Have we talked about this before? Fucking There's... Mr. Jones. We all a... want to be big cunts. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't even mean like, I don't mean changing the curse. And I'm fucking pissed about it. It's cold. I'm just like the, doing the bad boy thing for, yeah. the, for the girls. That's what it is. And Counting Crows did it with Round Here. Yeah. But they do the part, uh, <laughs> she says she's thinking of jumping. She says she's tired of life. And he goes, she must be tired of something around here. That's how the song goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And when he goes live, he goes, she said she's tired of life. Well, everybody's fucking sick and tired of something oh, around God. here. He always adds like a curse. And last night, last night, um, Mumford and Sons did their new song. Yeah. He's got a line. Uh, when, Suck my c- cunt. When when everything is gone or everything is nothingness, <laughs> it means nothing to me. He just goes, whenever. And it's a very like, here, let me talk to the crowd now yeah. for a minute. Like hey, moment to where he stops hey, playing guys. guitar. He goes, yeah. Hey, guys, the band's not even here anymore. He stops <laughs> playing guitar. And he just like, you know, he's like, just got the microphone. He goes, uh, when everything turns to nothingness, he goes, man, that means Fucking nothing. It's like really rams it down your throat. Yeah. And you're like, all right, guys. Yeah, like, I get it. They know it's going to hit. It's an easy uh, cheer. Yeah. People love it. They're like, he said, fuck. It's yeah. going to be weird to hear me saying this, but blue comedy. I think it's lazy. Yeah. <laughs> Just come on. Why do you got to curse? Blue, uh, b- blue music writing? Come on, La- guys. Very lazy. Be very better lazy. than the curse words. It's very lazy. 
Blue, blue lyrics? Lazy. We'll uh, take our last break? Yeah, let's take our last break. Hanging out with Joe List from Tuesdays with Stories and ComedianJoeList.com. Go check it out. He will be in Carolina. The good nights. We're all in North Carolina. And you can fucking see him at Philadelphia <laughs> Helium December 27th. In fucking Philadelphia? <laughs> December 27th through the 29th. Get tickets again at ComedianJoeList.com. We'll be right back. It is the fucking bonfire. Uh, dude, it, it, well, that's yeah, I know, but we'll talk about that a little more off air. What we have to talk about on air? How many of you listening have nagging aches and pains? Me. It's, it's everyone. Am I right? We've all got something that hurts at least a little from time to time. Whether it's joint pain, muscle soreness. For me, it's my glutes. I blast them. And then I let him reheal, but my glutes. They look good. Yeah, I've heard Hank Haney talk about this new product on his show, Voodoo Pain Relief Cream. And I've got to tell you, I've tried it and it works. My glutes feel much better. Voodoo Pain Relief Cream is a patented formula with 11 anti inflammatory ingredients. It's been clinically tested and it's got this special nanotechnology, <laughs> whatever that is. Yeah, they, it's all a bunch of science they give us to read for some reason, but I'll tell you. I did, but by the way, they also put whatever that means. Yeah. Uh, you shouldn't put that in the. You should explain it. So I. <laughs> Because right, now I'm... Well, well, they know no one's going to care about nanotechnology. They care is that it works. I've been put on my back at night. Love it. I mean, it's been, I mean, a world of difference. That's crazy. Maybe that's the secret. I don't know. But it works like magic. Reviews from people like Jay, who have used it off the charts and on the website. Try it. Risk-free, because if you don't love it, they'll refund your money. Go to VoodooPainRelief.com right now for a special limited-time offer. That's VoodooPainRelief.com right now. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Bruce. Can you stop doing my songs? Hey, hey, hey. That's right, Bruce. Younger men wearing tight vests have moved in. Oh, man. God damn it. Bruce did one of those lyric changes one time, like a James Taylor tribute. He hmm. played Millworker. Yeah. And instead of saying... Uh, Mill working ain't nothing but an awful boring job. He's saying awful fucking job, and I thought it actually took. I was like, awful boring job is actually more meaningful. Yeah, it's awful and it's boring. Yeah. What was the thing they changed for? Uh, what did Elton John change for uh, Princess Di that he didn't do for? Because it was like uh, it was, it was Marilyn was found in the nude. What do you say? Princess Di was found smushed in a car. <laughs> <laughs> All the papers <laughs> could say was that Princess Di was, was, was smushed up in a car. She's like smushed <laughs> up in a tunnel. <laughs> there you go. Elton, Sir Elton, that's kind of weird. All the prayers sounded ye. <laughs> it's the bonfire, everybody. Comedy Central Radio Series XM ninety five. I'm Big Jokes, and that's Dan Soder sitting with us wow. for Tuesdays with Stories podcast. The hilarious Joe. List. Got a big old piece on him too. So you hate him now? You got a big fat dick too? No, I got a decent. I got above. I would say slightly, slightly above average. What do you like think? A, what like is, what are you eighth of an inch. I, I mean, I haven't measured in quite a while, but it's a uh, seven. No, not seven. It's, a, it's got a good thickness. I mean, Dan's a good hype man. He's yeah, a, he is. Because I, Dan's got a seven and a half, and he, you can hype when you got a seven and a half, because you're like, everyone's probably rocking a big old fat dick. Do you have a big dick like also? This. I mean, yeah, it's been talked about. Everyone talks about it. It's crazy. Ari has a thick dick. Ari's, 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 got, Ari's fucking, got a heavy dangle. His yeah. dick is the biggest I've yeah. seen. In the yeah, Ari's dick's definitely bigger than mine. His soft dick is a hammer. For sure. Ari's yeah. Than Kurt? Huh? Is Ari's bigger than Kurt's? I don't know. Kurt's got a big dick, man. That's the heavyweight big, fight. Big, big dick. I'm yeah. light heavyweight over here. He's got a pretty big dick, yeah. I'm Lloyd Jones Jr. Y'all must have forgot! Uh, <laughs> I got a decent penis, but well, I wouldn't Joe, say. Joe did. I mean, Joe came out puffed up out of the shower. <laughs> also, a thin, you're also a thin guy. Yeah, he is, you know, it's, he, uh, he, we were uh, we were in Montreal in 2012, and we were splitting a hotel room, and I was on my laptop, and Joe just comes. He's taking a shower. He's taking a very long shower, and he comes out kind of laughing, and he just goes soda. Soda. And he's buck naked and his dick's like half hard. And he goes, I, I couldn't get it all the way hard. I kept laughing. <laughs> I wanted to come out with like a full, like, yeah, like a noontime hard on. I'm going to take a beat with you here, Dad, and say, we talked this recently. Yeah, we, we, no, we talk somewhere. about it on Thursday. We were talking about, uh, well, the, I said, I've seen pretty much all my friends' dicks except yours. Yeah. You go, I'm fine to be that guy. I go, and you've, I, I go, I've seen Joe's. That's it. Joe and Shane. But he goes, he's secure, fine to be not in that world. But 
Two people we've hung out with today, Joe and Shane, who have both showed you their dicks. They've been aggressive about it, though. No, I, I wasn't know, aggressive. I was very casually walked out. I don't put out that I'm aggressively showing you my dick. <laughs> Jesus. No, just guys. I'm bad just, enough at being friends with a guy. I don't want to fucking No, just, got, just guys. And the guys always, they want it, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, the way I was looking at it, I wanted it. No, but and I'm it saying, was 2012. 2012, you, walking out with your dick out was hilarious. Still a joke. Oh, I haven't seen Vecchione's dick. He hasn't seen mine. We've That's lived together crazy. for seven That's years. Crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Why is that crazy? I've seen Vecchione's dick. Just I never lived with him for one minute. You did? Yes. <laughs> disappointing. I feel like New Jersey. Disappointing. I go like this. No, he's got a. He's got a, Mike's got a thick hand. Mike. Mike's dick looks like a little Mike Vecchione. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, Mike Vecchione laughs. Uh, Mike, Mike Vecchione made me laugh so hard on the this fire topic plug the other day. We were talking. We were sitting at the cellar, and there was a bunch. It was mostly women. Me and Mike were the only guy. It was like Carmen Lynch, Adrian, Sarah, myself. And we were talking about Will's. Dick. Everyone knows Will Savince is a huge dick. I Crazy. Made it a whole thing. Looks like a sleeping possum. Yeah, and then we started talking about how Ari has a big thick dick, and then I was showing pictures of a comedian who sends me a lot of dick pics. On warranted i don't want to out him uh but he's got chris stefano yes that's right chris uh, stefano <laughs> can i say has the best dick pick where it's his remote in his sweat it's his remote yeah, yeah it's, pain. it's not his dick and actually. you're like yeah. but you see it and you go christopher but we, we were talking about it and everyone was kind of laughing talking dicks and then vecchione without any irony or trying to be funny goes what, what the f we all have big dicks now <laughs> like he was like really <laughs> bummed out he's like is that what we're doing we all have to have big dicks and i was like no no take it easy stop take relax it easy, enjoy your life change the lyrics to fuck but just he, dan he, just dan stop it it's not it's above average uh-huh yeah, it's yeah. great to say it's above average it's fantastic to say now what's bigger proportionately your head or your dick my dick Really? I'm kidding. That's a huge <laughs> dick. Dan, your dick, your dick is bigger than what it's large. this thing calls large. No, it's bigger than large. It's very large. You have a very large it's dick. It's 7.5. This has got people crazy. This is obviously <laughs> a white scale. Yeah, this is <laughs> yeah, I very would, Caucasian. I would say I'm in the 6.5 range. Look at that. That's large. You have a large penis. Are you going to hate him now? Yeah. <laughs> is, that what it takes? <laughs> is that what it takes to hammer my point home? Yes. I hate you both. Accept us. Except us in our meat wallets. Black Lou's people had to fight to have those big dicks, so I don't, I don't, I don't begrudge him a thing. Listen, you have uh, white big dick privilege, and I, I don't do. like it. I have pink privilege. <laughs> pink privilege. Um, back to Mumford and Sons. We were, you were talking about the concert that you ruined it for the guys next to you. Yeah, they were not enjoying dancing. Did they look at you a bunch? Did you? Is that the feeling you got? I felt I looked very sore thumb. Me and Christine just felt sore thumb at all because they are a sing-along audience. So when they go to these songs, they know, me and Christine are just like, Vaz, mom, hey, you, and I'll banjo I saw, solo. I saw them at Lollapalooza. They were one of the bands that was there. I went to go see Queens of the Stone Age, but Mumford & Sons was there. You don't have to tell us you're not gay. I, I was yeah, there to blow me. Marcus Mumford. I was like, no, just so you know, I was there actually for arm wrestling in another graph fighting <laughs> tournament. You yeah, I don't know. I was there in a dirt bike backflip competition. Yeah, he goes, I was so, selling drugs to kids. So. Yeah, but you spoiled it because you know Mumford's first name. So you've already given yourself up yeah, I'm gay. as a gay man. Marcus Mumford? <laughs> yeah. oh, well, it's not his fault that they put it above all the pinups in Tiger Beat magazine. It's true. <laughs> and it's not. It's called Pond Hunk. I'm sure they a UK oh, version. <laughs> it's called London Hunk. <laughs> Brit Hunks? Yeah, Brit Hunks. Fucking... T Stallion, <laughs> but they were doing that. They were trying to do um, the "I'm on Fire" with just like uh, the bass, the stand-up bass, and they mm -hmm. wanted to harmonize. But they were next to Steve Aoki. Like Steve Aoki was like the That's stage great. over, so it was like. Boom. Oh, they all got to gather around a microphone. They did it last night. They yeah. gathered around a microphone. They didn't do I'm on fire, but they gather around a microphone, and he asked everybody to be super quiet. Cause now, is this him talking? Let's uh, go. Oh, oh this, yeah. this was. Oh, yeah. So they, that's what he did. That's the exact mic. This is everything. This is the Lollapalooza. Dude, I was at this. And they don't get through it. They don't get through it. He stops. He goes, well, I guess we try again. Oh, can't play over the record playing in the background. I can't. I can't. They don't get through it, but I bet they make it further than I can make it. You can hear everyone talking in the Chicago accents. Do these goofy assholes think they're really getting it over? Dude, are you playing the fucking boss up there? Why are you wearing such long shirts on such a hot day? Oh, my God. It's in the middle of August in Grant Park. What are you doing in that <laughs> jean jacket, you fucking idiot? 
You can see his lights going from Steve Aoki. Too. Yeah. It's like, doot, doot. That's really what it is. Yeah. Go to the end to see. By the way, the person singing along doesn't know. He goes, "Hey, little girl, is she really good to you?" <laughs> Wait, go, go before the ending to see if. <laughs> Wait, go back. That's all sounds coming from the DJ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I dropped I was, the bass. I was up on a hill, and all you could hear was like. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, uh, it's just in the very back uh, I'm on fire. And me and me and my buddy Josh were like, is he, are they doing I'm on fire? And he's like, dude, all I can hear is this DJ behind us. I thought he said, I think he says something after the song where he goes, well, we tried that, but that didn't. Let's hear. You can feel the bass. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like the fucking Kennedy assassination, which I'm happy to talk about. <laughs> 1968. <laughs> well, we gave it a good world. We did. We Can did. All the MK Ultra stuff in it. Oh yeah! What's up, Chicago? Pie fight. Oh, dude. Yeah, dude. I mean, I don't think I have a dick as big as Huey's, but... No, uh, nobody buddy, does. Nobody does. that. We saw that dick up close, dude. You're my Huey. Thanks, buddy. You're my news. <laughs> <laughs> news all had little dicks. <laughs> they all had average penises. He Jay. demanded it. He demanded it. He goes, let me see your dick. He goes, you can play the hell out of the guitar. Show me your cock. Last what, test. What let band me do you see think that pig. What's the biggest dick band, do you think? Earth, on Wind, average? and Fire. Commodores. Uh, <laughs> Shy. Yeah. All for One. Uh, what's what the guy that sang Candy Rain? What was the one with <laughs> Keith Sweat? Creation. Hey, what was the one with Keith Sweat when he was in, <laughs> he was in SL with My Body? Uh, yeah. Key Sweat. Fuck Any R&B group, 112. Uh, yeah. Jodeci, uh, Total. Wu-Tang, that's a big dick band. <laughs> it's Wu-Tang, SWV. Uh, en Vogue. En Vogue. Uh, Janet Jackson. I'd probably say Dino like, Jackson. Um, Motley Crue feels like, mm. feels like it would. You feel like the rest, of, I think the rest got average. I well, think Tommy Lee got all the dick in the group. You've seen Vince's and you've seen Tommy's. They've stayed together too long to all have big dicks. You think that breaks up too quick? You need a couple of guys to follow. Dan, if you leave, I don't know what to do with my little dick. There's so many holes I can't fill, literally and figuratively. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's your Now guess? that I know you're very large. I don't know, dude. Christine, how do you feel to know that I'm fucking hitting average? Like, sort of. She loves your dick. I told you, you haven't now. You always say, you're like, you complain about a small dick. I'm like, you don't have a small dick. Remember that time? There are people in the world with small dicks. Remember that time you said it hurt for real? Mm hmm. Yeah, it was in her her butt, Dan, before you make the joke. Yes, it was in her butt. (laughs) Do you, uh, I was going to say her ear. (laughs) Ha! Do you have that? You're clip? so PG. I'm so PG. I was gonna do a nice uncle joke. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, got your nose. Oh, there it is. <laughs> up, up, over What's around. up here? Up over. I can't believe here. you still have that stain on your shirt. Bang. <laughs> <laughs> bang, bang, bang. <laughs> What's your guess for biggest dick band? I don't know. It's hard to say. I mean, uh, I was thinking color, like, like uh, I feel like Clare, Fishbone. Well, Clarence Clemens' dick Ed might P. be so big that he skyrockets the E Street band up. And oh, I bet Max yeah. Weinberg has a piece. I bet too. Weinberg's definitely got a piece. Yeah, it just feels like. Oh it. yeah. By the way, Jewish. Hot. If you pull up Max Weinberg, like the seven, he was like a sexy man. He grew into sort of like a, like Jewish, a Jewish sidekick, but uh, yeah, Jimmy Hendrix seventies. He was kind of like dark. Those are mostly white dudes, huh? Jimmy Hendrix experience is mostly white. But dudes. You're saying as a group. So you think Jimmy brings those two Brits all the way yeah, to the top? I do. Oh, Max Weinberg. Yeah, yeah, he's like a he's the sexy guy. Sexy Max Weinberg. Now his son's crushing puss in Slipknot. There you go, wearing a mask. Max Weinberg's son is in Slipknot? He's a drummer. Yikes. And Jay was there when he met... Saw him meet the band when he was 12 years old. Now he's in the band. You wow. know who's not impressed by that story? <laughs> Max Weinberg's son. I told it to him. Waited like a weirdo to tell him. Didn't give a shit. <laughs> Aerosmith, huh? Mm-hmm. They could have seen dicks? that. Joe Perry and Steven Tyler. That's why they're always fighting. Are they talking... They says they have the biggest dicks band? Well, this is it's celebrity penis, but Steven Teller popped up second on the list. Wow, who's first? Orlando Bloom. 
What? That's just celebrity dicks. Yeah, I'm trying to find musicians. musicians. But Orlando, wow. wait, Orlando Bloom has a giant penis, and he looks like that. Do you don't remember that fucking honker hanging off on the bodyboard? Yeah, I remember oh that. Oh my god, it was with Katy Perry. It made her titties look small. That dick was so big. Somebody was telling me about Frank Gore's balls as a thing. Do you know about this? <laughs> no, the running back for the Forty Derek, ers Yeah, Derek was telling me that uh, Frank Gore has the biggest balls, and once you see him, you can't. Please unseal. look up Frank Gore's balls. You know, they were like, you're gonna. This is all you're gonna notice next time you watch. University play. of Miami, uh, San Francisco Forty ers and the Colts. And I do kind of reminisce on something like that. Like so one time he got tackled by his, or Vernon Davis got tackled by his dick. Well, like, evidently this is like a thing. Frank Gore has huge testicles. <laughs> Let me tell you uh, something I realized too. I had this, this went, came off of fucking with the crowd in San Francisco. I think mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to keep saying it on stage, to some degree, with the concept of how much you love titty fucking and you love big titties. I, the reason I don't look at big titties and think about titty fucking them is because my fear that when a girl squeezes those titties together, she has an expectation that some helmet's coming through. <laughs> <laughs> She's got her tongue out. She can't wait. And if your dick doesn't make it through that fucking cave, dude, you look like an asshole. It's stuck. It's I go with Christine, who's got a manageable titty size. And I said, I, I got Christine. She pulls her titties up, and I have her tie her nips around the back of my dick. Yeah, that's funny. Wait, but yeah, because then I don't know. It's a weird place to put I've me. Never been into. I never understood titty fucking. Didn't get. I never liked big tits anyway. But a titty. T fuck, we've always had that a argument. Vagina and a mouth are. But you've warm, you don't like big titties. Degrees. I do not get titty fucking really. But he no. doesn't like big titties. Our entire friendship. It's not like always... I dislike big titties. It's not like I'm like yucky. yeah. I don't dislike big titties at all. Yeah. I like. See, this I, what like I, think I like big titties. Big titties are fun. This is what I realized with I've, I've the other day. Sarah and I discussed. I like when you have a torso. You look up the belly and then it goes tits just come out. There's no fold over. There's no space. I'm a fold over guy. It just comes up and goes. I like. I like. A, I like. like a, a perk. I like a tit that, you know, I like a good hang. I don't oh, like a Dan ball likes a, bag. Dan likes a tit where every couple of years they have to move their nipple back up the tit. Nah, it's I, don't going like down. I, don't, I don't like that at all. I do not, you know, I can I can go a little lower. Yeah. See, when like, because when you lie, I, I used to do a joke about when you lie down, those big tits, they spill out over the side. Great. In the you get to wrangle them back in. But you can wrangle a small one. But your helmet's coming out the other side because you are very large, Dan. Thank yeah. you. GLP. I'm just going to lean into it now because you won't drop it. So thank you. I mean, Dan. Yep. Yeah, hey, how you doing? I can't wear leisure sports attire with this little dick. <laughs> <laughs> Just sitting it. <laughs> Just sitting it, you son of a bitch. Yeah, you're gonna keep bringing it up, and I'm just gonna make you sit in it. I'm okay with it. What do we talk about now, there, Kako? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. I just want to confidently sit here in the silence. We got ten more minutes of the week left. Uh, what well, are we that's doing? Just, just enough time to sit in and soak in some dick rays. <clears throat> <clears throat> I will tell you tomorrow. We talk about that American meme uh, on the Lost Tapes, the American meme documentary. Did you see that at all, Joe? No, I have not watched. It. I it saw it yesterday. I saw the ad for it's depressing. it. Watch Don't it. watch it. I yeah. think it's depressing. It, it, it's, it's not bummer. made for people like us to watch. But well, you have to watch. You have to hate watch. I feel like watching it would make me happy to be like, I got to get away from my. F I need like constant reminders to get away from my phone. That's what it seems like it is. This it's is just of, shows it's, you. It, it's, it's not so much that because you're not gonna. You're. I don't think you're gonna find a relation, a relatable thing to anybody in the uh, in the documentary. What it will make you see is like, wow, the world is really like, how much time and give a shit people are putting into social media yeah and it's unbelievable and they're making tons of money and then when they're like they can't even answer a question of what it is they do mm. influencer is like a hollywood term now yeah it's crazy it's um if you're an influencer you can get a movie deal yeah it is a very disgusting uh kind of thing that's it's turned into where it's just all these people that are good at someone was telling me about this yesterday on set that there's like look this up there's like a code or there's like a not a code of like there's like a, a an equation that's done of your personality which with how you are on social media like if you're really good at like promoting and but you're promoting nothing it's like all this different thing i forget the name of it i'll find out the name of it we'll talk about it on the show but it's yeah look what she found i did that test i'm a samantha you're a samantha <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a carrie but it's only because i'm v large i've always been a miranda <laughs> um but yeah, it's 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 a thing of like it's it takes certain personality aspects in order for you to be like just be able to go out on social media. And well, just... we watch this girl tomorrow, uh, Bertley Furlow, I think her name is. Yeah. When you watch this documentary, Joe, which I do recommend you watch, I will watch. It's it. uh, someone who's just being told they're funny 
because they're hot but they're drinking it all in it's like someone's really like enjoying their talents not because it do you know what i mean it's yeah, like yeah. it's like victoria's secret uh or whatever sears catalog everybody used to jerk off to you know 40 years ago 50 years ago it's like them going like man we have a popular catalog it's like we really know how to put a catalog together man it's mm-hmm. like no it's right, like right. kids are beating off to your thing you know what yeah. i mean it's, it's yeah, like yeah. that kind of delusion yeah, we, should do our, we should do our uh, editorial section a couple we should do an op-ed section <laughs> yeah. in the fucking in the fredericks of hollywood catalog uh let's see this list 10 most legendary well endowed rock stars um Jay-Z, Jay-Z? I've well, heard that. Uh-huh. I mean they should have said white stars. Yeah. Uh, Robert Plant. I've seen that through the jeans. I've seen Robert Plant. Tommy Lee Jones. Tom Jones. That. These Tommy are all Lee. Look at that. Tom Jones. Tommy Lee Tom Jones. Yeah. Hey. It's, all, it's all the ones we knew so far. Huey. Huey. That's and it. The rest. Was that ten? That wasn't no, ten. That wasn't ten. That was like four, 10. right? Is there a page? Oh, there's a new page. There's seven more pages of this. Oh my god! It's big dicks. They put a lot of time into the rest of it. <laughs> uh, it's a full biop on the uh, next. And the rest. Um, Bad article, sorry guys. Ah, jeez. Mm, well, way to go. So oh, great. Gonna... Thanks for getting rid of that page. Now, gonna remind me again how very large Dan's dick is. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> for a moment, I thought it was Qdoba. Cure, cure what, what's that website? Cure. cure Christine, is there? There is an outside shot. If we took, I mean, fucking tape measure to cock on my best day, I measure in large. I bet so. Because you got to go deep into the pubes. You got to really get down huh? in there, and then you yeah. push the ruler in a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Really jam it in so you're bleeding, and then. <laughs> yeah, you know? I mean, if I gave that, when's the last time you measured your dick? Not in some time. I was like 19. I was five. 19. And I just like, you know what? I don't want to hurt, hurt, hurt like this again. <laughs> I might have lost some fucking heat off my fastball. I should re- <laughs> <laughs> remeasure. Maybe I'm just down to fucking 6.2 and fucking Jay can be friends with me again. No, 6.2 no is way. live. Friends no. with you? Yeah. I worship you. No, you don't. I gotta, I'm going to measure my bad. dick tonight. I'm going to get hard and uh, and measure my dick. Better like, set, you better fucking send the measurements me and Jay's way. Take a blue chew. Yeah, maybe I will. Oh, wait, oh yeah, I keep hearing about When I measure, chew. I'm going to blue chew. I have a blue chew. Should yeah. I just take it and just scare Mike? <laughs> yes. <laughs> scare Vecchio? It doesn't work that way, though, I found out. You can't blue chew and then just kick it and hope that it... Kick it! You can't just hang out and hope you get a boner. Frank Sinatra. Huh? You have to you have to take it and then get worked up to a boner. It's not a it's not a miracle thing. I thought. Got it. Look at that uh, Ava Gardner quote. It's unbelievable. Ava Gardner said of Frank Sinatra, she described her former flame by saying he's only 120 pounds, but 10 pounds of it's cock. Wow. Yeah. What a how'd you like that on your tombstone? That's he's really right. Chris Pete. Isaac. Of course he does. Yeah, Peter Chris. Uh, like, uh, like, well, the, well, first of all, Peter Chris is the Kiss drummer. Yes, he dresses like a cat, I believe. Is he the yeah. cat? Yeah, you gotta have a, a big dick if you're gonna wear cat makeup. Your whole you, gotta be, <laughs> you gotta be comfortable. David yourself. Cassidy, I'm not surprised by David Cassidy. David, really? Yeah, he gave a uh, yeah. Come on, I'll meet you halfway because I, I got a giant uh, cock. Can I tell you why I, I, I'm laughing in my own head about that? Because I thought it was David Crosby. <laughs> <laughs> I could see that. Yeah, that walrus just got like fucking big old walrus dick. He said, "My brothers call me Dunk, as in donkey." Oh, that's funny. Dude, that's so funny. If you got affectionately made fun of for your giant cock when you were a child, they're like, hey, donkey. And you're like, hmm. <laughs> oh, my God. Real. He said, uh, just to start. Wait, who started on Cassie? Uh, when he got looked up and down, I said, I hear you're a monster. I want to meet the monster. Well, I decided that if I had it, there wasn't any point in keeping it in the holster all the time. It's kind of cheating to brag about your own package, but hey says David Cassidy. Wow. One of my favorite songs of all time. I'm, I'm a little, I got a little teared up. Donna's Domain. What? This what? is Groupies. Groupies like dot com? Yeah, oh, these are, uh, oh, these are like the top groupie 10 groupies. Notes. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. Look at that. They said Everclear. I believe that. Eight inch. Phil Ensemble. We looked at this inch. before, actually. We've actually looked at this before. But look at this. Sure. These are like descriptions. They say Sebastian Bach can deliver the good. The most skinny, tall guy's candy has been seen with a variety of groupies on the road. Uh, Winger is still getting... Who knows? 
Are these uh, best dicks in bad bands? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. These, these are all di- These are all dicks you'd rather sh- fucking shove in your face than listen to their music. Oh, Bobby Bobby Blotzer from Rat? Oh, good to know. Oh, cool. Vito Brata from White Lion? <laughs> you think he's busy tonight? Yeah. I don't know that I've ever he's heard of him. He's a very White. sexy kisser and will eat pussy for days. <laughs> White Lion. I don't even know that band. Bonnie Ray? That's weird. All right. Well, I guess we're all measuring our dicks tonight, Dan. I want to recount on yours. Oh, dude, I'll do a fucking Florida recount. Hell yeah. No matter what, I'll kiss it. Yes. I'll make sure I rinse this flame out of my mouth first. Yeah, please don't. I want um, it spicy. Debt paid, uh, Black Lou. We're total best friends again. You're the man. Best friends Seriously. again. Uh, I love you, Black Lou. I would never welch on a bet, buddy. Joe List is going to be in Good Nights in Raleigh, North Carolina this Thursday through Saturday. So go get tickets for that. And then I said that wrong. I said he's going to. Oh, I'm laughing at the music. Uh, I don't know what you said. Uh, he's going to be in. That, uh, this is I my thought jam. I said it. Whenever someone laughs, I'm like, oh, I fucking. I said it wrong. You got to work on that with Alan. Yeah, I know. I saw you start taking. And you didn't do anything wrong. He goes, I fucked up. It's like, you said it exactly right. I know. That's uh, my whole life. <laughs> uh, well, Joe List is also going to be in Philly. So, Philadelphia, come the fuck on. The come the fuck of fucking. Please. Campers, Please. go Watch buy one tickets. of the best working today. Seriously, Joe, one Joe's of the funniest hilarious. fucking guys, guys working at Helium in Philly, December 27th through the 29th. For tickets to that, at comedianjoelist.com. I definitely fucked that up. Comedianjoelist.com, and you can download his podcast Tuesdays with stories with you know the lovable Mark Norman. It's a fucking hell of. It's basically uh, this, you know. It's like us, but Mark and Joe. Ah. <laughs> there it is. I was, I was trying to find something it to keep like up. It was a here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, a second member yeah. of Rat popped up on that list, so they might be the winner. Do you think Rat's got <laughs> the biggest dick? That's why they're not, su- that's why they're not successful. They have such big dicks that guys couldn't stay together. <laughs> or they just were like, I want to leave now. He goes, I want to leave now. He goes, well, I want to hang out for a little while. And they both just flop dick on the <laughs> table, and they go, I don't know. I guess we got to break up. Why is yours moving towards mine? <laughs> uh, big J going to be in North Carolina at the Dead Crow Comedy Club. Those shows are sold out December 14th and 15th. But you can get on the standby list, so go do that. And then after that, he's going to be at Uncle Vinny's in Point Pleasant, New Jersey, December 20th through the 22nd. Tickets at BigJComedy.com and go stream his new special. Episode 1 of The Degenerates on Netflix. You can also see Joe List as Episode 1 of The Stand-Up Season 2. Also on Netflix. You can also see Dan Soder as episode six of season one of the stand up. Yeah, we're, back to we're back. all Netflix people. Yeah. Um, and of course, Dan's going to be at the Funny Bone. <sighs> Ironic. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. I tried Dan's to rename his, it. Dan's bringing his Funny Bone to the Funny Bone. <laughs> I tried to rename it Big Bone. <laughs> the Funny Big Bone. <laughs> like a champion with that. I uh, know he does. You know he does, Jacob. That's going to be Albany, and that is tomorrow through Saturday with Shane Gillis. Yes, sir. Uh, get tickets for that and all Dan shows at dansoder.com. Uh, check us out. This is our last live show of the week, so yeah. it's so good to have you back, buddy. I'm so uh, excited to have you back. Yeah, sorry, Joe, thanks I, so much for hanging out with us, too. Having, I hate missing Monday and Tuesday, but I'm glad to be back. I hate it so hard. We have a fun, we have a fun, fun lost tapes for you. Really we even fun. tell them what we had on? Nah, let's let them hear it. Yeah, we have a fucking crazy guest crazy out of nowhere. Guest that just was in the lobby we got on the show. It's pretty awesome. Uh, good work by Jacob. Great work by Jacob. Absolutely. Always uh, give the credit where the credit's due. I uh, am here all next week, though. Hell yeah. But until then, you can download our podcast or you can watch the videos uh, support show your love let us know you're listening let us know you're laughing and we'll keep doing it for you we love you guys enjoy the lost tapes Bye. catch you guys next week crackle crackle <laughs>